Well, that was right. the initial assessment, and Chun Li, of course, has footsies for days. <laughs> but uh, Fudo has kind of turned that on its head because the way that he plays Mika is a very footsie based R Mika. Yeah, and all it takes is for him to land that one Irish whip, that one clap, scoop you up, put you in the mix up, and it could be game just like that. And that's what you're going to see against uh, Chun Li. Chun Li also has super strong offense as well, right? Air legs, we have to see if Fudo can deal with the offense, the pressure that MLB is able to put out, as well as just the defensive wall. Fireballs, anti airs, just really strong footsie game as well. So we'll see if, you know, I think it's going to be sort of an uphill battle for Fudo. He's got to fight through it, but he's got a bunch of games to do it, three out of five. That's right, but one of the things about Chun Li, too, is that as good as her offense is without meter, she's pretty vulnerable on defense. And even if when she has meter, you paid out that EX bird kick, and that's it. She's done. So. Could be curtains just like that. So here we go, our first match of Street Fighter V in the here at EVO. Pro Tour background. Let's go! Opens up quick. He's, you see that big fierce from Chun Li sticking it out in the front, and MLB with the confirms early. We're already with a great start, getting her all the way into the corner, but oh! Not confirming on the Irish whip. Yeah, early spinning bird. One thing we saw about MOV yesterday. Very active on his own wake up. It's gonna be a combo here for Fudo. What's the setup? Oh. There was the mix up from other the other side. side. Back into the corner. Gonna be close to stun. One more mix up. And there that's it is. Gonna do it. And that's there. gonna be stun, and that should be the first round for Fudo. A perfect example of exactly what we are talking about. A quick start from MOV, but then immediately Fudo gets one hit, two mix ups, done. Yeah, that's all it takes. And so you saw MOV so quick to establish Spinning Bird, but just one slip up on defense, and that's gonna be that. Yeah. That fierce again, finally brings out the air legs, and Fudo didn't get around it. Oh, oh he tried to confirm, on yeah, but it didn't happen, but he's gonna be able to confirm off of that, off of the air legs. Yeah, corner carry pressure staggered from MOV so far. Air legs are gonna beat the roundhouse again. Man, great positioning for MOV, the but oh, he jumped. Takes is that one time, we're gonna see that mix up, and she goes for a slide, and Smart reacts to the hit. And the dash goal, and he just confirms off of it. Fudo. Incredible Mika play. Oh, he's, he's trying to bait out an EX Burke. It did not come out. Oh, confirm oh. into the X, and that's not enough. One more will do it. And there's the jab. Caught him with the button. Fudo. Yeah, first you saw game. the counter hit right there. It looked like MOV tried to wake up with a button. Not with an EX Burke kick, though. Maybe just trying to challenge. Pop that up. Fudo didn't quite have the media all ready to go, but there it is. Fudo's going to take that first game. Yeah, and that's one thing about MOV you'll see that I mentioned. Wake up spinning bird, wake up button, super active. We saw him wake up with crouching or standing medium punch yesterday. Just you know, standing strong. Uh, and he, he's that kind of player. He'll take advantage of, you know, you not properly meeting him, but Udo has already established it in there with the offense. Command throw early. Yeah, now with the corner position. So now it's MOV's turn oh, to try yeah. to get out of the corner, but here we go. Irish win, set up, mix up again. Confirm. One more. Udo needs. Great and block. The block. That should Crush. do it for the stun. Stun again. Fudo building a bunch of meter with command throw. You can see already so close to that critical art in the bottom left there. So smart. Yeah. Fudo. Great job from Fudo. And he's off to a quick start here. Every round he's been winning faster and faster. He's been getting in so quick. He's actually winning the footsie battle against Chun Li. Whip. Punish with command throw. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. And like early on, we all thought Mika had terrible footsies. She can't get in. But Fudo's showing that that is just not true. Well, we made the throw, but not in time. Okay. Gotta be careful. But yeah, Fudo winning on the ground, stuffing out these air legs on the way in. He's doing such an excellent job of stopping MOV Chun. Right, here comes the pressure from MOV. Trying to defuse that a little bit with the neutral jump from Armika. Okay, using the V-reversal against that charge drop kick, that's a very common tactic because you just don't want to deal with that. Oh, block mix -up. again, gets it. Oh, this has got to be max, right? EX. In there, just needs a couple of more. And that's a confirm he's got it. Game two already for Fudo. So quick, it's a 2-0 for him. And that was two dominating rounds, you'll see. Fudo, he is a fantastic player on offense. He has all the offense in the world, but it's because MOV can't establish footsies. He's beating him on the ground, as well as just getting things started quicker. Yeah, and just like that, Fudo up two to zero. Let's see if MOV can make any sort of adjustments. And, you know, you can see him thinking about it, telling Fudo to wait for a little second, and now they're going back in it. Yeah, right back in it. I'm curious to see. I mean, and Fudo, look at the air to air. He's had such great air to airs already, and hands here with that crouching strong from Mika. And I didn't like how MOV started that round by kind of walking backwards a little bit, giving right. up some of that space. But now with the offense starting, trying to apply that pressure, that's going to be safe, but negative. Yeah. Oh, so after that, Chun Li, uh, she is put in a mix up against characters with command throw. Will it be command throw? Will it be button? Mm -hmm. You just kind of have to guess, and MOV guessed right that time. Well, here we go. Okay, Nadeshko makes up a great block. 
there's the bird. What an escape. Oh, nice. MOV. So clutch in that situation. Big jump. Oh. Chance here for Fudo. This is going to be huge. No meter to get out from MOV. And it's another hit. He needs one more after this. Okay, the yeah. Beer Russell Smart also trading his dizzy to stun meter. Great defense from Fudo. Blocked out the air legs. Caught him out of the air. Gets the confirm. Fudo needs one more. But the bird from MOV. He delayed that bird kick. So Fudo walked up there waiting for the reversal timing. He walked up, no reversal bird kicks, and that's a common tactic. You hit the button slightly after reversal timing, and that's actually when MOV did the EX bird kick, and that's why I caught Fudo off guard. Yeah, it was excellent timing, and now Fudo jumping for it. He's the one trying to press the offense as MOV has taken back control. Fudo has a lot of meter, but for our makeup, that's not about super. That's usually just lots of corner carry from EX Flying Peach. But here comes the air lightning kicks from MOV. In there already, and Fudo not answering as well as he has. One more for stun. And in there, there. Is. the throw is going to do it. MOV is on the board versus Fudo. It is now 2 1 Fudo. So quickly he turned it on, and you see that's what you expect out of this matchup. That's what you expect it to look like. Her to control the ground, get fireballs out, and Sierra keep up the offense. And Fudo really, his defense was so great at the start of the set, but a couple of cracks there in the armor. See him thinking about it? Yeah. All right, ready to go. Let's go. Round one. Game four. Fight. Fudo oh, up to early. One. Wow, he just went right for the clap. You see, so he didn't have EX to keep it up, so he went for a different setup off that. This is a punish to yep. the corner. Yep, again, oh, a different setup. Went for the regular throw and just got caught by the air light stick. Such a powerful tool for Chun Lin. And you know, off of that forward dash, he gets that mix up. So no quick rise that time. From yeah, exactly. Fudo. Delayed, gets in there. Love the V reversal, but, but the yeah, drop the kick. Deshko still coming from behind. It's always the tag team you gotta watch out for. Gotta be careful. Fudo trying to approach. There's the jab, finds the hit, and now gonna have offense for himself as well as corner carry. EX Flying Peach right into the corner, dashes up, jab into the regular throw. A command throw will do it, but wake up back throw from MLB. It's all those birds. He hasn't yep. convinced. Mm -hmm. Try to make that out. Oh, Hold look at that towards medium kick. Not out of it just yet. Does he risk the bird after? No, he went for the throw. Okay. Well, that was such a smart thing from MOV. Yes. He had the right read that Fudo wasn't going to do it, but Fudo walked backwards out of Chun Li's range. Chun Li, not one of the characters with a great throw range. Oh, just went for it on block. He expected MOV to hit a button to try to punish that target combo, and instead just committed all the way. Fudo took a pretty big risk, not punished too badly for it. Just trying to find a way in, but again, MOV giving up a lot of space little by little, walking back, but then the air leg turns it around right away. Yeah, love the confirm wake up button from Fudo EX. Gonna get Nadesco. Nadesco. Oh, from the top. Interesting. I wonder if that was an execution error. He already committed to it. I think he expected something else. Oh, love the confirm from MOV. He spends all the bar. He gets a setup after this as well, so we'll see if Fudo maybe the later eyes. Yeah, he doesn't want to eat. He doesn't want to deal with it. Instant anymore. head stomp and the lightning, and Fudo walks into it. Was thinking that MOV was going to go for stomp and the cross up potentially. Oh, yeah, probably something like that. That's what you'd expect. You know, if he did medium kick there instead of the stomp, would have landed behind. Ooh, First, opened up with Rana. Fudo on match point. MOV needs to win this round to tie it up at 2 2. And no meter for MOV. Fudo already near the corner. This is a bad spot to be. Oh, he gets under, he gave it up. He could have confirmed with EX again there, but didn't do it. Keeping up offense. There's the yeah, peer reversal. Yeah. Great work. Oh, and made it out the throw with the air lightning kicks. He keeps it up with EX. Oh, not to the corner. Fudo yeah. was too far. Just misjudged. No, no confirm the EX Peach. Nice combo. And getting in once again. MOV all of a sudden now. On the wall. It. He is not. He's tied it up. Two to two. Here in this first match, immediately. I think that's off the strength of Air Lightning. Like, that's what he's, yeah. he's opted to do. He's, you know, it's really a rock, paper, scissors of what he will do there, and he's bringing out that option. Fudo did such a great job at first of resisting the temptation to tech. Because when you see that dash up, your mind just wants you to tech, and you'll do it. And that's what he's done a few times in a row now. Oh, he, yeah, you see it? <laughs> he said, wait a minute, I need some time to think about that. But what's interesting to me, though, is that we still haven't seen yet Fudo try to counter the air lightning kicks with the Mika crowd strong. He, he did that a few times in the first few games, okay, but okay. but you're right. In the last few, it hasn't been there. Yeah, he really just hasn't gone to it. He's gone really kind of trigger happy with the throws. He's gotten his throw with punished by the air lightning kicks a lot. Round there we go. Last game. See who moves on to winners finals here at Evo. That early clap. It's no likely buffered into the full thing. See MOV after blocking the drop kick, just back dash. Doesn't want to deal with a nice whip punish, low forward, and the lightning kicks. 
Oh, missed. Yeah, if that was air legs, he would have caught Fudo again attacking. Oh, so he tried to low profile the drop kick with crouching medium kick from Sean. Just bad just timing on that. Slightly yeah. missed time. Love the anti air from Fudo. He's in there. MOV does have meter, and there's the bird. Trigger available as well. Oh, he gets the gets huge jump. jump. Yeah. Converts into the full combo. Trying to bait him. Bait once again into the exit. And that's going to be stun, if not death, and it should be for MOV. And now, just like that, MOV is at match point. Whatever it was that, remember, he stopped after two games and was kind of like, let me think about this a bit. Whatever it was that he thought about is definitely working. Because he is at match point now versus Fudo. There's much less fear, and I think there's a lot less success on Fudo on the ground. Uh, the ground game has looked much better for MLB so far. Caught him out of the air trying to oh, jump. that's punishable. Yeah, missed from Fudo. I think he just missed the button he input there. Throw to it, OS, but MLB is all over all the options yeah. Fudo's going for us at this point. Oh, wow, just goes two crouching jabs into third kick, and again. Stop Fudo trying to anti air it. Oh, gets under. All right, so what's the mix-up? This is a huge chance Fudo has to get pressure off of this, and if he doesn't, which he doesn't, MLB is in there. One oh, more. Oh, he finally counters it and gets the crouch, though. Remember, we've seen this. What all it takes is one mix-up from Arnika. He needs one more to do it. What is it? Okay, it was great block, timing. great block. Gets oh, in there, and the combo. That's going to confirm him, it. and that's going to be stunned. Fudo's going to take it to the last round. We're at the last round, last game here in the very first match at Evolution 2016. Well, we had to start things off right. <laughs> it wouldn't be okay if it wasn't the Mandalay Bay and didn't come down to this. Yeah, it was all playing, you know. <laughs> all part of the script, James. Fudo right. trying to get in there. Has a bar for himself, which is important, right? That DX Peach to get through and also for armor. Good trade, good trade for Fudo. Wants to get the on low that low You yeah. saw it, yeah, just gets right under the drop kick. And again, see, whenever you quick rise after the bird kick, you put yourself into that chummy mix-up. When he didn't do the quick rise, it kind of threw MOV off a little bit. Yeah, the setup wasn't as strong. Love to confirm. One more will do it for MOV. He has critical art on deck. That crouching medium kick is the most dangerous button. When he spins the meter! EX? Yeah, there's gonna be a Nadeshko. And Nadeshko going rogue and then grabbing him with the other side. Oh, Fudo's in there to come and throw. He's not out of this just yet. Oh, he whipped the throw, but no punish. Oh, oh. that's okay, traded. The defense, oh. he's got he's it. It should Back be the roundhouse. Drop kick it's gonna be enough. Fudo! Beat. He moves on to winner's final of Evo. What a match. And it was the clutch defense on that. He did the jump roundhouse in the super. It was like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh, but Yukonon, MOV, and Ata all tra uh, trained together at the uh, at a house in Japan. So the three of them at a gaming house in Japan. So the three of them are all in top eight of Evo together, and it just proves that that training is paying off, right? Uh, two of them in winner side of the bracket. Yeah, but of course, infiltration of former another former Evo champion yes. for Street Fighter Four. And look, coming into this, everyone was talking about infiltration in Tokido, infiltration in Tokido, but infiltration is the one so far with the consistency. He's here in top eight. He's still in the winner's bracket. He's done this a million times now, it feels like. There was one year where it almost felt like he was invincible. The year of 2012 was the year of infiltration. Right. It, was, it was really just one of those years where when you looked at the results, and uh, infiltration was at the yeah. top, it was, it was to be expected. It was almost like you thought it was like placeholder text, you know? Yeah. Like, he couldn't have possibly won that many events. Infiltration, infiltration, infiltration. It, it was an absolutely incredible year for him. And I think that it's, it's no doubt that Street Fighter V so far has been shaping up to be the year of infiltration. We'll see if Yukonon can be the man to stop him. It's gonna be a Nash mirror. Usually you think about Nash, super fireball, mobility character. The mirror is not gonna be that different, although throwing booms against Nash, not as effective. Yeah, it's dangerous, yeah. especially once he gets that beat trigger, because it's very easy to react to Sonic Boom and from the other side. Of course, if the other guy has a beat trigger, he can respond with his own beat trigger cancel. Yeah, so, so what you're gonna see is lots of absorbing the boom and way more footsies than Nash usually likes to play. So it's not gonna be as much projectile as you think. A very course, scrambly matchup. Infiltration, always a very mobile match, dashing around back and forth. Yeah, very similar to his DiCaprio play. Uh, that's one yes. thing you'll notice about him. Very frustrating to deal with. He, he feigns a lot of movement. He'll just kind of hang out and uh, relax in that range. Although, for Infiltration, excellent footsies. You can see him player two side in the red. Yeah, already a great start, training half the life of Yukadon. Oh, excuse me, Infiltration in the white. Yes. Gets clipped by the Moon Salt pressure. Oh, what the a, end. Yeah. Oh, wow. He wasn't expecting that to be a touchdown. Otherwise, we would get able to confirm the Moon Salt slash. But nice EX side for the anti air. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, there was, but he was too far. He did the wrong strike. I think the Moon pushed him forward. You see the wave from Infiltration. He knew it was going to hit. That is the kind of character knowledge that you expect out of him. The understanding that, look, I saw the back dash. I was going to hang out, let the boom hit you, ping pong right into my crouching fears. 
gonna love it. Great work from him. There's that forward light kick. Excellent air to air. Oh, air to air from infiltration. Right. Great block on the overhead and the punish. Yeah, great confirm. He gets pressure here as well. An infiltration all over Yukon so far. Yeah, right now this is definitely looking pretty one-sided. Infiltration still on the pressure, almost stunned. Yeah, close to it. You see the chase down. He doesn't want to give it up. The rapid jabs just to try to get any of that damage. Yeah, Yukon, you of course, not sitting on enough meter for great confirm. a super. Oh, oh what a reset. reset. Okay. He's both to stun himself with the wake up. Infiltration had it ready. Sticks out the jab. You had to think it was buffered into side yeah, super yeah. or one but likely. I, I love the option though that he went with the standing light punch because he was thinking to himself, maybe, maybe he's he's gonna recover in time. So I'm gonna just throw off the fastest move. It's gonna yeah. kill you in time. Round one. There you go. Right. And even if it hadn't been a punish, right? If he stuck out any button, he was gonna lose. Right. Yeah. Confirm from you. Oh, that was great work. See the B gauge already built for infiltration just by absorbing two. Yeah, and there you saw right there. Of course, infiltration is the best at using that that knee, the towards light kick as an anti air against uh, a neutral jump. Man, I love that counter kick confirm from infiltration. He tried to jab ants here, that didn't get it. A little strong, maybe a better option, but he wasn't as prepared. Air to air from infiltration, but okay, well, they both are quick. Same yeah. <laughs> same problem, just a little too close. I think both of a bit greedy on the punish. Should probably try maybe a faster. Air, but, or, just go in the air version. Yeah. Or, something yeah. Like or that. maybe just stand medium punch in the side or something, right? Big jump and a miss anti air from Yukon. But that's also because Nash with that juice jump, jump around. Out. The jump heavy kick. Point. An amazing button. Starts with the scythe and gets the counter hit, although wake up buttons from Yukon works out as well. Oh, he's gonna get the anti-air. Yep, there it is. Uh, lands on the critical art now. It's gonna be damage. He has positioning too. He can dash up and get pressure or he can slow it down. And he goes in. Yeah, good block. Oh, infiltration. You see four mic kick just to yeah, get out of there. That's, that's one of his uh, most common tactics that you see to get away from cross ups. Excellent. Just knowledge on infiltration. And you know the critical arts on deck. If you get on makes any kind of mistake, it's going to be brought out. And you know, even though it's not hitting buttons or whatever, but when you see infiltration forward dash, back dash, it's just that movement is so crisp and it's just so beautiful. You see these delays? If any of these medium punches land, it's going to be confirmed sight super. And you know infiltration's got it on deck. Good air to air there. Once again, stopping Yukadon from getting any pressure in. Oh, oh what, what a jump, but he wasn't in range. A little too far. Now we're close to start, although he does have the view reversal, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Man, infiltration in those situations, you notice, when he has a huge lead, he does not stick out big buttons. Nothing big or that has a lot of recovery is just jab. Something super light, so if his opponent does come into something, he can just he gets no block, or he can get away, right? He's not doing sweeps. Any kind of big or attack like back that. Fist or anything like that. Yeah, right. exactly. and, and that's one of the most important things at the end of the round is not to overcommit on big buttons like that. Right. Yukadon, you know, the, 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 the key thing about this so far is I just feel like Yukadon hasn't, felt, hasn't figured out a way to break infiltration's defense. He hasn't really gotten any sort of offensive pressure going at all. Yeah, and infiltration in the footsies is like so strong. He just he has the control and the neutral almost the whole time. Right. And so it seems like you got in there. He did like crouch strong, crouch strong, and then infiltration just blocked the whole thing. And guess what? Back to neutral again. Yeah, and conversely, when infiltration gets in there, he makes his mix-ups count way more. You see no room because he was scared of the heat trigger from Yukon. And you know, it's kind of interesting. He jumped at him, he knew that Yukon had that meter. Maybe he's trying to bait him to use those DX slashes with that giant life lead. Oh, again, too Out far. Out of range, yeah. Try chat and it oh punish? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, maybe a whip from Yukon is expecting something else. Now infiltration looking to close it out 3-0 convincingly and move himself to the winners finals. Now we saw MLB make a great comeback against Udo to lose at the last second, but infiltration trying to show that he is not gonna give Yukon any sort of similar chances. Huge jump in from Yukon, I love the confirm. To the corner and the walk down pressure. The, pa the patience and the defense from infiltration again. Too far. They're, they're insistent on using the, the ground. Oh, the how many games? Okay. Oh, he tried to do yeah, you can on the jump tag OS to get out of the corner. Well, yeah, I need a little roundhouse that's very punishable for infiltration. The dash and only just intersect with the back net. Confirm, okay. he can spend the super, and he does. Critical Art's gonna close it out for Yukon. No meter going into the third round, but you gotta spend it. Yeah, they gotta do it. And now, 
with a little bit of a chance, with a little bit of life, getting on the board. Of course, infiltration goes sitting for a full meter. You may even choose to spend this on the first hit to get a life lead really fast, and then be able to build meter at the same rate as you can on. Right, that's exactly what he's thinking, time. because, you know, if he spends it right now, he's going to have the exact same meter as he did. Exactly. Oh, but he went early! So that's a huge opportunity now for Yukadon. Now it's an even fight. Before, yeah. even though they had the same life, all that super meter for Infiltration clearly gave him the lead. Now Infiltration cornered. The defense is cracking from Infiltration. Maybe mistakes now as of that critical are whip. Uh-oh, this is a bad spot. Stun will be there. Oh, but again, great one. Yeah, come at overhead. I love that he escaped with the V trigger. He didn't even care about spending it offensively. He just wanted to get out of there. But around for Yukonon. Yeah, I love that Yukonon tech that throw. He was ready for infiltration to teleport and then dash forward. And all of a sudden, the switch to offense. And infiltration trying to stick out the button. Oh. And that should be that. Yukonon puts himself on the board. You have to think infiltration playing a bit flustered after he dropped that critical bar. Yeah. And maybe got to him. It was a big miss. That was a lot of resources to spend on what could have been a 50% lead. And it kind of a similar situation to the last match we saw, right? It looked like Fudo was dominating the first two. Round looks like he was going to win it three straight. And then all of a sudden, MOB brought him all the way back. Yukonon's going to try to do the same thing right now. Oh yeah, sometimes you can confirm off that board like kick and a jab. Didn't get it at that range. You have to know the, the proper range is to use it. Yeah, and again, max Infiltration uses that air to air so well and oh, he gets the frame trap on him. Yeah, confirm. You see the counter hit confirm from infiltration off light kick. And and even builds the meter at the end. Yeah, what a way some to go. Of that meter from Yukadon coming into the next round with a one bar advantage. The X early. Infiltration at match points again. Back to the usual control you expect to in this game. Great. You can see the dash up. Infiltration tries to take up space after. There's the neutral drop. He was not expecting. He was just trying to get some extra chip off of the Sonic move. And now again. And one more for stun more than likely for Infiltration. Use the EX frame. And you get on out of there. I mean, oh, oh, the reset. He had the right yeah. idea with the fierce. He but went he didn't the get throw anything. last time. And this time he went for the fierce and it worked, but it didn't convert into anything uh, significant. Love the air to air. The infiltration has had them the whole time in set. Such great control. You see, he's looking for frame traps, not working great, out. Yukadon on yeah, critical art. Great defense from Yukadon that time, not fall up for the frame trap attempt from infiltration. Wow, the jump in from infiltration. Oh, there it is. He's going to convert it to the block, but it was too much. No, but infiltration drops, keeps himself safe for the sight and the overheads from infiltration. What? Presence of mind to see the block go for the we already saw two Nashes earlier with Infiltration and uh, Yukadon. Right. And, that, and of course, L.I. Joe bringing that character in there. You know, it's interesting because Nash was one of those characters that early on everyone was like, wow, Infiltration's winning with him. He must be really good. And then all of a sudden it was like, well, no one else is really doing that well with this character. Right. It's all about Chun Li and, and Ryu and Ken. You know, these are obviously the best Ken Nikali. And then, lo and behold, three Nashes here in top eight. You know, despite whether the character is good or not, he has such a solid tool set where if you play well, you can beat any character, yeah. right? And you can beat any player. You just have to be on point. Your defense has to be solid. And when you get the offense, you got to make it count. <laughs> Love the fist bump there. Love the uh, respect between the two players going up against each other. And as we said, it is going to be L.I. Joe, of course, using Nash and Ata using Ken. Ken, of course, you're gonna expect him to try to get a lot of rush down and Nash, not, you know, like you said, not a huge damage all at once character if he doesn't have the suit, the critical art all right. ready to go. Very much, as we saw earlier, just kind of a scrambly hit you, do little bits of damage here Yeah, hit and run fighter. He's gonna get a lot of his damage from being a wall, frustrating as a point. Ken, tons of damage, tons of corner carry, lots of offense. You'll notice, wow, the <laughs> jump at the start from Joe. But he didn't believe that it was gonna hit, so he didn't have the combo afterwards, unfortunately. One thing you gotta watch for Ken is that dash and that run. Unsafe to do in there, but it's just so quick, so uh, difficult to deal with all the offensive options of Ken at once. And when you mix it up like Eita does between jump regular, jump Tatsu, which he already has done, dash, it's just so tough to, to cover all the options that you can see it. Where Ken wants you to be just in the corner, already there. Okay, Joe punishes the throw and gets the back throw, so now he switches the corner position. But well, puts himself right back in there. The block. Oh, okay. You see, Joe is respecting uppercut early from Mainza. He knows that that's the kind of style he likes to do. He's, he's another solid hit for doing this. Back Ooh. to the corner. And another throw. What's it going to be? Overhead. Great work from Ada. Yeah. Textbook. Love the back throw back to the corner. That was great work. Knowledge of where he was on screen. Yeah, you can see how they were both fighting for that corner position. Both of them doing back throws all day. 
Uh, Joe putting himself back in the corner for offenses. That's his kind of style. He doesn't mind taking those kind of risks. And he's using a lot of his meter right now for the anti-airs, but that's fine because you want to keep Ken out of there. Keeping Ken out is one of the most important things and just falling victim to that run cancel again. Run cancel not safe. There's the air-to-air, -air, but Aina just right back in, close to the stun, one more will be it. Okay, gets out of there! Joe finds his way out, still lots of stun and a deficit, but at least no longer in the corner. Joe, now oh, trying to what a whip punish, now he's got a full meter. So one hit could lead to a lot of damage and a potential comeback, but a oh, great yeah, Joe still sitting on that critical man. If that had been... Oh, he got up. That was an autocorrect for sure. He dashed yeah. under, probably tried to hit Fierce, just got the uh, tragedy yeah. assault on the other side. That'll happen. All right, so Aita taking game one. Again, this is loser's side of the bracket here. So these players have already been sent to losers or earlier in the tournament. Fight. Loss will mean that they are eliminated from this tournament. Early confirms from Aita. You see that two-hit target combo. I love it. There's the punish on the run. You got to have that crush counter. It's going to be big for Joe. He has offense. He keeps it up. And just back to the zoning. Like we said, a little bit of scrambling, kind of a very good balance between offense and defense. It's so what you're going to see a lot from Nash, and he's going to, oh, stay to the front. Great block from Ata, but here comes L.A. Joe, gets a pouch cut and sweep. But Ata waking up with the uppercut, cancel on the B-trigger, chasing him down for the throw. And now a couple it's... more. Oh, Joe's out of there. Spent the, the EX. Oh, no, EX. Sight. Didn't have the answer here on time. Duck, and he could have got the punish, but it was just too far. Wake Joe's up the angle by punch. Throw, and that's going to be it. Safest option, it's a, just really walked up, and Joe didn't believe the throw was coming. I mean, one of the things, you know, we see a lot of the Asian players, you know, infiltration Japanese players, using the jump back OS throw tech. You know, sometimes I, I feel like that's missing from a lot of the US players' game. Yeah, not implemented as often. There's the confirm from Joe, double jab, spins the bar. 50% lead for him early, and you see Ada insistent on jumping. He'll do jump empty, jump with the button, or jump with Tatsu, and switching up between those options makes it so tough to answer here. Huge Ooh, he's jump gonna be able to get Joe. the punish on that. Yeah, decides not to spend meter. Just going for chip as much as he can. Oh Bring no! Her back to the corner again. Corner of a great defense block. B triggers. A B reversal's out of there. No stuff on the Tatsu, but safe. Yeah, Joe. Oh, but the, the knee. Spacing. The knee catching Ada off guard, and Joe on the board. What round? Good work oh, to him. That was that was a lovely spacing. Just to know Sorry. that that was gonna be. Good. Full critical R for both players. Ants here, no good because of the top two. So yep. tough to deal with. And you know, Joe is sitting on him here. He's showing him. And there oh, it is. He's going to spend it right on the critical R. But again, you know, he's going to have a life lead here, but he's been sitting on a full meter as well. So still pretty tied right now between the two players. I like that Joe didn't go in too hard after that. Just the boom into the side. Didn't commit to hard offense. And you'll see that Ada will punish or uh, go in with uppercuts and stuff like that. B reversal out to escape, but oh man, Ada's going to have corner position against 10. It's going to be a rough series for Joe to deal with. Good blocks and, ca and challenge on that target combo. What an autocorrect uppercut. Other and side, but okay, didn't get the confirmed Joe. Punishing the run. Oh. Not out of this just yet. Will there be a jump from Ata? You know it's got to come eventually. No confirmed. That could have been critical art. And absorbing some of that. Oh, what, what an anti air. Ada not out of it yet. Oh, once again. The run, oh, he got he the fun. He put it Joe ties it up. Into the heavy kick, he excites, and he takes. His first game, he ties it up 1-1. One, one. Uh, oh, man. He was like, sit back down. Yeah, we've got some more games. We've got go. some Street Fighter to play. <laughs> I'm trying to hit some buttons. So Joe puts himself on the board, punishes the run, and you know, he's been pretty consistent about that so far. Uh, and if Ata sees that, then that's when he can start switching things up and going for other options. All right, Joe's still dashing up, getting throw, but crush counter sweep. Ada gonna use that to set up the cross up, and then just gets the frame track. Confirmed. In the front, Ada thought he was going to the other side, because, you know, that's what Ash is trying to do to escape the corner. Uppercut. Oh, Ooh, dash to the other side. Under, and and then they're confirmed. On the roundhouse, great confirm. Too far for that. Oh, crush oh. counter. And if he spends far, it's going to be a lot of damage. Not does it. Yeah. One more will do it for Joe. Oh, out of the range of the Get the jungle with the uppercut. Damage now from Ken. Trying to get in there. Out of oh. there. Great block from Ata. Joe not out of it. The anti air bottom, but he came out with the butt. He came out about a blast that he thought he was at a safe distance, so he didn't do anything. And Ata caught him with that EX Tatsu. But this time he was like, you know what? You're going to try it again. I'm hitting the button. And if Ata had done an uppercut instead, he would have beat it clean. The jump in from Joe is huge. Does he have a read now? 
been a couple of times. Ooh, saw oh, one immediately, yeah. Great uppercut from Angler. Yeah. Yeah. But there we go. That counts down the right side. That's what got him in the spot eight against Kazunoko. Gonna be pressure. This time he does go for the pressure. It lands the throw. Joe with a big lead. Ada gotta make something happen now. No meter though, which means it's gonna be tough for Joe to end here. He doesn't have the EX sight. Dash forward, get that low medium kick, dash back. In and out style from. Oh, he's out of there. The chase down from eight side, but Joe can't get the punish. But, but there's the call for the punish. Oh, no. He's one more. He jumped on the fireball. Joe up 2 1 over eight up from Japan. And then you see Joe's father there watching him, cheering on his boy here at Evolution. The lone American up 2 1 now. And the calmness right now on Joe's face. And Aita as well. He doesn't look too shook. Sure. Opens with Scythe, so it's a great starter, and block. You see Joe will just hang out and block because he doesn't want to risk the uppercut. Great confirm, he gets the Scythe combo. Jump over, but the uppercut from Ada, yeah, had the autocorrect on deck. Uh, even though uh, Joe is up 2-1, would have really been on point with some of those anti-airs. And Joe escapes the corner, finds himself the confirm, gets in with the knee, and there was no uppercut. Maybe Ada just not ready for it now. Oh, yeah, he, he missed it, it again. He tried it, but it didn't work. And Oh, you see the backdash? He was trying to look for V-reversal. That's what he expected, and Joe didn't go for it this time. So keeps himself safe to EX, and Joe was out of there, but back in. He tried to be tricky and go into the air and challenge him. Love nice. the air to air from Joe. Another one, he gets the punish, but it's not enough. He could have spent EX. The absorb. He's in a great position. He can just do the... Oh, oh he missed that jump. I mean, that's how he went for the last one. Oh, do it. One more. Joe got hit double low short. Yeah, maybe stood up, maybe tried to button. Who knows? But around for Aita. Maybe even try to view reverse in the next bit for stood up or something. But in any case, cock for low. Aita taking that first round. You know that jump for Joe has worked out a lot of these times. He's really had a great read on when there's going to be projectiles. Oh, that was so far that he punched that fireball. Yeah, hit the hurt box of the fireball on startup. Great work for him. Patient defense from Joe. No ends here, though. And again, the problem position again. Joe trapped in the corner. Beautiful forward dash to get out of there. And that, the throw. Was, that wasn't a counter hit. Oh, and he was hitting for the uppercut again. And Aita just, he understood that that's what Joe's been going for so often. But he oh. made the throw. It's going to be critical arc. Now a lead for Joe. Still got to close out this round if he wants to get this game. Just a tiny bit of life left. But, you know, Ken can do so much damage so quickly. You are not out of the waters in any shape or form. But he's going to get the round just like that. Joe, match point on Ata from Japan. We'll see if he can do it. Loser of this is sent out of the tournament. Ada now down. Oh, Joe's what a read from Joe. Darn from the tragedy of something. And you know, Ata almost had critical art. Now because of that, Joe keeps up the offense. Great under. Okay. Yeah, did combo was a bit too far, I think. He, he understood. He knew that. Yeah. He didn't accidentally go into it. Great uppercut from Ada. Ada chases him down. Gets awesome. a throw. Now Ada has him in the corner. There's the tech. Great work. Dash up from Joe. Other side, he gets under, and now Joe can escape, although crush counter. Gets the crush counter and the uppercut confirmed. Goes in there with a the V trigger. A little too far for that low four fireball to connect. Great block on the cross up. Joe's sitting on a lot of meter as well as V trigger. You gotta be careful if you're Ada. Oh man. Switch the big risk on the way in. Yeah, just trying to get in. Maybe thought Joe was gonna throw a fireball. Joe, one critical arm from taking this. Gotta be wary of the trigger. Ooh, and here. Right and then dashes into the fireball. In the front. Oh, he got him. He spends the critical arm. And Joe. Joe He's got it. He's going to advance. No, he got it just at the end, and L.I. Joe takes it. He lives in the tournament. The lone American representative takes out Ada from Japan. L.I. Joe moving on to lose side bracket, taking out Ada from Japan. Block once. Even when you would knock him down and try to attack him, he would wake up with stand jabs. And James, if you're blocking, you can't hit a button. <laughs> and there's <laughs> and no fun when you're not hitting buttons. That's not Nemo style for sure. But a Nemo, I really like the Vega choice for him because, as we said, you know, he's a Rolento player. Uh, Vega has that similar kind of foot speed, also mobility, a lot of options between the two different stances. So I think that's a really good pick. But as you mentioned, Goichi, one of the most successful Chun-Li players that we've seen on the circuit. Did, as I just mentioned, he did super well at CEO. And, uh, he's going to be going, I mean, his Chun-Li is going to be really tested here against Nemo. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind about him, you know, Goichi doesn't just have tricks with Chun-Li. He has great footsies and all that. His execution is excellent. He hits all the combos. He has all the setup. Very complete Chun-Li player. He's not someone who just has one part of his game down. And it's the same thing for Nemo. He has these crazy setups that almost nobody else does with Vega. 
Uh, and he takes advantage of the walk speed well, so it's going to be a really footsie heavy matchup. It's going to be a lot of pestering from Vega, and when Chun knock, uh, knocks him down and gets some kind of pressure to lock him up, it's going to be tough. We'll see how it goes. Two of the strongest players out of Japan. And uh, as we mentioned, uh, I think earlier, if you guys didn't know, Nemo sponsor Three Alienware just right. right now. Mm -hmm. See the shirt he is repping there. So. It just happened very recently. Yeah, it was, it's just less than a month ago, probably. Yeah, yeah just a few weeks. So Nemo now going into a uh, full sponsored player. Going to be trying to get into the Capcom on Pro Tour later on this year. Let's see what we can do here at Evo. It's going to be Goichi on the left as Chun Li, Nemo on the right as Vega. Super, super fast paced matchup. Really fast technical characters, and we'll see how it goes. I'm also really curious to see what stance. Uh, Nemo favors in this matchup, whether it's claw or no claw, because, uh, you know, you have uh, different options in each one, and I'm expecting him to maybe switch it up. The one nice thing about it is both modes has the roll. The yes. roll can be used as a raw anti-air against air lightning kicks. It's very effective. Yeah, see, immediately no claw from him, and that, that's one thing he opts for pretty often, uh, and I was thinking about. He switches between them pretty openly. They love the punish on the overhead. Oh, there we go. Air lightning kicks immediately from Goichi, and he's going to get the hit. Trying to take Nemo to the corner. And you oh, see that that's speed. Punish. Yeah, excellent punish. Didn't have down charge for uh, lightning legs, or excuse me, for air legs out of the air. Bad spot to be if you're Nemo, but the wake up short again and gets out of there. That's one of the hardest things about that air lightning kick. A lot of times you're like trying to jump in on Chun Li, and then all of a sudden she goes with those air legs, and then it juggles you out of the air as well. Very discouraging. Nice confirm into the EX wall vibe. Get the positioning here and set up. This is a light kick. Keeps it pretty simple. Jump over and now Chun Li out of the corner. One thing I like about Goichi, he mixes up air legs and regular jump a lot. So he doesn't just go for one or the other. So if you have an answer for one thing, he can beat it. Oh, challenging after the lightning kick into a trade, but chun -Li now sitting on a full super. Anything that hits can be confirmed into the critical R round. And you see Nemo, lots of jump, lots of dash back. He doesn't want to let him do that low strong into V-Trigger. And, 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 and doesn't even need to use the critical R. Only spends one bar on the EX lightning kicks to be able to take that round, moving into the next round with two bars. I love the movement from Nemo at the end of that, though, just in case he was so avoiding that low strong that he ended up running into something else. That roundhouse from him. Oh, wow, that wasn't even a, a true link or anything like that, but then get that hit. And no challenge to the air lightning kick from Nemo. Yeah, that's a really important thing to establish against Chun there. The command throws their medium. Goes for the overhead and a back dash from Goichi. Vega almost now building up to that beat trigger. You're gonna be able to confirm to the super round from that. You can oh, see it. Oh, yeah, it's a missed base slide. No critical R from Goichi. Yeah, I mean, oh, there it is. Like I said, he triggered the confirmed in super. But the interesting thing about Nemo so far is he's gone for a couple of risky slides. Yeah, and, you know, and it's, I think it's just to say, like, look, I will go for this, and you have to stop walking right. forward. You can't just take up this space. And as soon as you establish that, there's all kinds of other options you can go to. Nemo oh. with the jump medium kick. It stopped the ants here. What a great distance and timing on that jump medium kick. Not sure if that's just... Uh, you know, something that he's gonna go to a lot to try to beat that anti-air light kick. Yeah, and I like that immediately again, Nemo flawless. He, he switches it up right away for different options. Yeah. The jump in again works. Yeah, same thing, yeah. It might be a, just a little secret that you know, he's been saving here. Gets the EX. No. Got the rolling, there's the other side. Nemo keeping up the offense. And here. Yeah, at that range, not gonna be able to get over with the medium kick. Again, getting in with that slide at a range where I don't think it was safe. Definitely not. Goichi is just trying to oh, walk back. Super? No. Gonna save it. Oh, missed time the meaty, and that's gonna be the round. Yeah, he went for the four roundhouse, but there was a back roll from Nemo, which is why he got out of the way. First game to him. Yeah, he was trying to save that super so that he could confirm it like on an actual kill hit. Right. Not gonna happen. Yeah, sometimes players will think that way. They don't want to spend their critical R too early, or you want to save it for that last moment. But, you know, Chun Li gets a, a pretty nice situation for himself afterwards, so you would think that you'd want to use it. Jump in again, and you see Nemo will take lots of risks. He's not afraid of them, because even if he gets punished for it, when they work out, he gets such great offense from it. And it's just basically playing the pot odds, you know, every once in a while you jump in, you get anti-air light kick, that's not that much damage, no, but you yeah. get one combo in there and all of a sudden you just do this giant chunk of damage. Yeah, he's really not averse to those kind of reds at all. Alright, throw. throw, yeah, tries to get in with that overhead, he was able to block the air light kicks in time, but now... Goichi confirming off of the low medium punch in the trigger. Confirm from Nemo himself as the setup. Oh, you see the late rise from Goichi. He's it out. Gets in there with the EX. One more will do it from him. And there it is. Double jab. Caught him. Counter hit on wake up Nemo. Likely hitting Stanley.
Let's see if Goichi can keep it up. Much better round for himself. He did a great job keeping up the anti here. Oh, drop the confirm. Now Nemo can punish, but he got a two early. Yeah, it caught him out of the air, so very lucky for Goichi. Trying to walk under, but didn't make it. Just rare with Vegas walk speed. Goichi now is good with the corner position. Got a good chunk of damage on him. You see, pulled up a mutual jump to try to stop some of the offense from the opponent. Love the confirm. Empty from Nemo. I wonder what he did. Maybe just baiting his spinning bird. Oh, caught. Didn't get the combo. Nemo can confirm into the EX. He's gonna have positioning and set up here. Wow, wake up crouching jab. Oh, no confirm. Yeah, not into the low medium kick. Only in the standing line punch. Goichi had the critical R on deck, so I'm surprised he didn't bring it out. Next hit will be in a critical R. You gotta watch out for that fierce. Oh, but here it comes. Yeah, into the EX wall dive. What's the setup now? Nemo What's not out of this just yet. Oh, Go the, the fierce and the regular throw. Nemo puts himself into another round. Now close to taking this maybe 2 0. I love that little mix that he went for there. Nemo flawless again. You see, oh, he, he opts for this stance, probably for the faster normal in neutral. And he doesn't feel like he needs stuff like four heavy kick or four pairs. He seems to really like to have, to have that option of stand heavy punch into the stance switch. Right, which is so again. good from Vega. He's in a position to go for more offense after the same slide again. Yeah, there's tension. But you know what? I, I, like you said, I think he just wants to make sure. Because you see how Goichi's playing. Goichi's crouching a lot because he knows that Nemo wants to slide a bunch of times. Yeah, and if he can make Goichi just down back, that's when he can go for stuff like dash up. Oh, that was definitely there. an execution error. Didn't mean to do the lightning kick that high up in the air. Super high. Okay, confirmed. Oh, Didn't do critical arc. Yeah. Oh, yeah. got it. Oh, that should be it. Yeah, 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 great work. Goichi is going to tie it up one to one. Yeah, finally pulled out the meter. Surprised it took him so long for Goichi. Spends it. Great work to him. One apiece. And you know, those wrists, that, that game didn't work out for Nemo, but they did in the first one. So it's one of those situations where you're, it's unlikely to see him not bring out stuff like point blank slide and jump right. and stuff like that. He just, he's going to take it because his offense is so right. successful when he does manage to get in there. And sometimes even when you lose games like that, you win in other ways, like establishing that you're sliding a bunch of times. Sure, it's not punished, but now it's going to bleed over into the later games that might take effect there. And, and you can already see it. Goichi is crouching so much, and because of that, Nemo is just dashing up in there and getting pressure just like that. And it's, it's because he's giving up that, that slide damage occasionally. Got him with the late tech. Pressure here for Goichi. All right, nice counter poke there from Nemo, and like you said, getting those four dashes and going for the slide at a little safer range, but too far. We're trying to get under, confirm. Air legs and then eating him alive. Media, and there's the mirror versus the corner. It's not going to get him out. Oh, nice dash under, and now swapping positions. Luigi, nice throw tech, but then just gets caught before he can get out and jump, and this time Nemo does get him on the ground. Confirms into the EX wall. Gets the setup now. That fierce into the stand switch, yes. Look, you can see if there's buttons from Luigi. Oh, oh Punish for sure. Didn't build the critical art. He was so close and I know he was looking for it. Oh, Punish maybe? No, yeah. Oh, no, he like, keeps yeah. himself safe with the V-Trigger, yeah. Chuck it out. Oh, he's got him. Oh, yeah, there it is, okay. I was about to say, dangerously close to even chip range, but doesn't even need to. He's going to round two with the full meter. Yeah, and that V-Trigger for Chun-Li able to make low, strong, safe at pretty much any range. You just pop it. Such a great option for her to close out round. Oh, that standing right kick. He's hiding a little too early. Oh, oh. missed the throw from Nemo. And because of that, he ended up in the corner. Oh, no, and then dashed into the neutral jump. Goichi just choosing to go with the regular lightning kicks instead of the bird kick combo. Oh, no! Crouching medium punch is very punishable at that range. And he didn't beat trigger cancel it, which is what I expected. Oh, one more will do it. Oh, On their there side, yeah. Yeah. Nemo will get the round. Great work. Throw from meter build as well. See in the bottom right and left. Both these guys on the whole critical art. Make it just right and under it, but essentially their next hit's gonna give it. There it is. Now both of them with full resources to go in there and immediately Nemo spends up for that EX roll to get the setup and the corner carry. Beautiful air to air with that jumping. Oh, punish? Okay, didn't get in there in time. Oh, Sam Fierce counter hit, but nothing else afterwards. No confirm off of that fireball. Oh, what a confirm off low medium kick from Luigi. Yeah, just throw it out there, both board in the super motion, and if Vega doesn't dash, that's Is there a quick rise? Yeah, and then we'll quick rise. Earlier we saw that that wasn't the case. Air legs, good again. Finds the hit, Goichi, all kinds of offense here. Nemo not out of it though, lots of bar to work with as well as the trigger. 
Raw Rose. Just, just get out of the corner. Yeah, that's all he wants to do. He's sitting there on a full meter now. Can you see the shorts from Goichi hitting such a low wrist button. Oh! oh, oh that was no. a so scary. Yeah, he couldn't do much out of yeah, that. Yeah, you can't cancel the crowd strong in claw form. Exactly. Overhead oh, with Go and the EX from Goichi goes up 2-1 over Nemo. Again, this is loser side. This is the other side of the loser side bracket. So loser of this is sent home. Winner moves on. And you see, look at Goichi right now, just the relief on his face, and now spending some time to think about it, gathering himself a little bit. Round one. Nemo, of course, one of the strongest players towards the end of Ultra's life cycle there. He was one of the strongest players, considered one of the best at that game. Showing that he has the chops here as well in Street Fighter V, but Goichi trying to end his run. That was one of the first times he has missed air legs, and Nemo had to punish on deck. Oh, gets under. Had to guess with the slide. Now Nemo in there, and he's gone for that overhead a few times right. afterwards. Goichi is ready for it. All right, again, a standline kick anti-air, but again, you know, it's not a lot of damage, so I just, it's not enough to discourage Nemo to keep trying those jumps. Oh, nice. Getting him with the EX bird kick. Again, that standing line kick. Great defense from Nemo that time. He didn't hit a button on a tech throw, which he's done a few times. There's that slide. The walkout pressure jump oh, is good. Full timing against the fireball. Predicted that. Jumped over. Got the combo. He's able to take that first round. And it's the little things that set up stuff like that. Nemo just walked backwards. Goichi thought, well, he's going to walk away. I'll set it up with a fireball. And that's when he jumped. Yep, you walk into the optimal fireball range and just attempt them to throw it that much more. And exactly Goichi, what Goichi did. Yeah, Goichi dropped in his combo. They got the crowd jab and the medium punch. Did not connect. Okay. Got some execution errors from him. Walk on there from Nemo, great oh, confirm. They only just choose to spend one bar on there. There's one and a command throw, all right, lots of offense from Nemo. Anti air again, stays in the front, regular throw from Goichi. Great position for himself, B trigger as well as corner. Okay. Late cancel on the road. Slide, so, yep. All right, it's gotta be pressure here from Goichi, just goes for the raw air leg. No anti airs from Nemo, but he gets the counter punch into the EX roll. Now corner position just needs a little bit of cross up and just hit Goichi. That was so ambiguous. It was so hard to tell which side that was going to land on. And yeah, you can see on Goichi's face, like, I just didn't think that was going to be a cross up. Yeah, so ambiguous at that range, and Nemo ties it up to a piece. A match to see who's going to be knocked out of Evo at seventh place. There's such a long road through 5,000 players. <laughs> 5,100 players here at Evolution oh, down yeah. to these top eights that we're watching right here at the Mandalay Bay. Maybe Qualys again for Nemo. Oh, maybe missed the dash before the command throw. I'm wondering about that. Could have just been an execution error and again, punishable. But yeah, you can totally tell that Nemo just has this mindset that he's willing to take little bits of damage to keep going for risks. Yeah, totally his style. A lot of times people play just to avoid damage at all costs that's not necessarily beneficial to you. Right, especially since he has established that Goichi has to low block. Right. You cannot get away with not low blocking. Confirm and that should be the round. Doesn't even spend the EX bar. Genius to use V-Triggers instead. And now Nemo, match point. What great awareness on his resources. Now, once again, every round he starts by dashing back, changing into the clawless stance, and yeah. going into the offense. Prefers the normal and, you know, just offense that he can get clawless. Yeah, clawless offense obviously has more combos than the claw mode. Yeah, if, you're, if you're looking to play footsies, maybe you'll stick it out of claw. Now, offense for Goichi. When you see uh, air tech, that was, air throw that was coming from West Tech from Nemo, missed the stomp. Oh, yeah, he meant to do a forward jump in the stomp, accidentally came out of a neutral jump stomp. Or it could have been missed air legs attempt, either one. Oh, gets in. Nemo, he's so dangerous at this point with V-Trigger, the most critical are on deck. One bunch of bubble into it. Look for the fierce frame trap, Goichi. I love Excellent the counter poke. Yeah, the counter poke timing right there for Goichi. New that Nemo wanted to get him close, maybe set up a frame right. trap or throw situation. So press the button early, got the confirmant of the lightning uh, to the spinning burn kick and takes that round. Now it is match point, both players. Last game, last round, once again. Whips the slide and no whip punish, spends the bar on this, Goichi can get offense after and then we'll just back that. Gotta be careful with this footsie range. Oh, he's got yeah. the confirm again. Yeah, that standing, that, I'm sorry, that jumping medium kick, beating the stand light kick at that particular range. 
Out of the air again, Goichi trying to get out of there. What a whip punish from Nemo. Again, has offense for himself, goes to stun. Went for the command throw. Oh, he's gonna throw. be on the he's gonna save it. Goes for the bird kick instead and goes for the pressure. Yeah, Critical Art still on deck, has it. No confirm. And Nemo with the whip too, man. Such a dangerous position to be in. Just goes for it, he whipped it. That was so dangerous of a moment. Goichi keeping up the offense. He still has Critical Art on deck as well. He just uses that to get out of the corner. That could have been big. Oh, it's not good. He gets the confirm. Go, Ichi. It's going to be big damage. 37 hits from the super. Not He's got a kill. setup afterwards as well. In the front, and the double stop from Go, Ichi. Nemo, you see, it just didn't. How do you know that that's going to come out? It's just so ambiguous to block. Because you block. He could have just done a regular jump attack quickly. And that is going to be Yukadon versus L.I. Joe. The sole American survival, star-spangled as usual, you can see him there on the stage, fighting for all the freedom dollars up on the line here at EVO. And I got to imagine L.I. Joe watched that match with Infiltration very carefully because yeah. it's going to be a Nash mirror again. And Infiltration took it um, pretty soundly, pretty right. soundly, Th three There was one. the flub with the critical art as the anti-air, mm -hmm. and he had a little bit of a shaky start after that, but then, yeah, close it out convincingly. And you have to think that Joe is watching that as, you know, he plays Nash and he's probably thinking about that match. You know, if I win here, I'm going to be playing the loser of this. So I got to pay attention and study. And Joe's smart enough to know that. So we'll see what it's going to be. Another Nash mirror, a very shifty matchup. And it's going to be on who has the reads on air to air as well as movement and just gets the better of a lot of these scrambly situations with V Trigger and V Reversal. All right. You see them both right now getting ready to play. Being given the signal to go. Yep, going to be character select. It should be a Nash Mirror. I don't expect anything else from these two guys. Uh, you get on all the way from Japan. Of course, you can see the big crowd sitting behind them over there. Shout outs to everybody here in the stadium, in the arena, enjoying some Street Fighter action. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with you guys in Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay. Evo 2016, such a special event. It's like they're back to character select. Getting ready to go. There you see him. You know who he's rooting for. It's going to be a Nash mirror. And there it is. So, on the left we have Story Nash. And on the right we have just the default Nash outfit. So that's probably how you're going to be able to tell the difference, although slight. Just a little difference in the vest. This is for fifth place. The loser of this will get fifth place. Winner will advance on a top four of the tournament. This is Evo 2016. L.I. Joe versus Yukadon. And there's the big jump from Joe at the start again. He just knows. Just showing that aggression right away. Yeah, and that's how Joe likes to play. He is in the default match. Yukadon on the left in story mode. Meaty boom. Super advantage on that. But Yukadon just getting, right, getting out of the corner right away with that feature here. You see that super late tech from Joe. The message for you to think about that there was an attack. Oh, didn't get out of the moonsault early. Try to get out of there. But out in the corner of the back. Crush counter sweep against Joe. Now back in. Great defense punish on that side. Oh, gets out of there, but oh, yeah, the disjointed hurt box from Ford Pierce. Just gets you on out of there. We have seen a lot of whips on that forward. Oh, wow. Lucky that that, that last hit just barely clipped. He's able to keep himself safe. Confirm into the critical arc. There it is. Great first round from Yuganon. Although Joe has been keeping up a lot of the offense, I think Yuganon just stayed calm, weathered the storm that was Joe's early attacks, and he just closed it out. Great work to him. Round two. Let's see if Joe can make the adjustment. Now has the advantage in meter. Yeah, gets the check after that before light kick. Not advantage at that range. Gets all in there right. with the moonsault. Too far to confirm, yep. but not punished either. He's oh, got wow. He's just going to go right into yeah. the raw super to punish that sonic boom. Give himself, that, give himself that big life lead here. Yeah. Right. Does he choose to keep it up the offense? He does. Sometimes he'll stay away with just boom, but that time. In there. Now it's just going to be the V. He wants to gain that V gauge as quick as possible for V reversal to escape stop as well as trigger. Yeah, I really like that. Oh, oh he no, gets he in. I expecting that to happen. But you know what? No, not a proper confirm from Yukonon. And now Joe getting the punish. Wake up button. Will Joe do the same? No, blocks it out. Yeah. Yeah. Right, good throw tag. 
keep himself safe. Not at that rate. Oh, Crushed wow. him. But yeah, couldn't get a combo yeah, there. Too far from Sonic Boom to connect. A nice air to air. Joe's in a bad spot. Has to spend the B trigger. No anti airs at all from Yukadon, and that's going to give Li Joe a throw. And he gets in with another throw, and maybe just because of that bit of great damage is good enough to kill. But Li Joe ties it up. One round of peace. See the aggression from Joe right away. Wants to force the issue. And he spent that critical hour early in the last round. Now Ultimus has full gauge again. There's going to be the confirm from Yugodon. Just had buffer. Stand medium rush. Sight. Critical art. Now going to have advantage for himself. 50% lead in this round. Of course, Eli Joe almost has a full super. Can really get in there. Just as fast. Yeah, but didn't spend the critical art. Right now. Yeah, goes for the throw. Got him caged in the corner, no ants here as it was on the other side. He would have had to do an air to air as a jump back. Ooh, got hit out of the air, so very fortunate there. Oh, but got him again. Into the neutral jump and goes for the throw. He saw that Joe was playing very defensive. Jabs him out of the air, wow. And then gets the throw, throws him back in the corner. Oh, mix up, great block from Joe, it was low. Not no ants here. here. Yeah, no anti air super. Oh, yeah, so you could on those and can't the super from the the screen. Just oh. empty jump, but stop. Counter hit, crouching strong, not confirming that. Joe just hit a button. Great blocks again from Joe. There's been no overhead attempt. Overhead is there. He doesn't get the punish. It could have been in the sight into critical art, but Joe missed it. Yeah, that's gonna that air is gonna cost him. Yukon yeah, gonna take game one, but you can see right there, Joe nodding his head, understanding that he lost that one himself. He didn't feel like he's probably thinking to himself right now. He doesn't feel like he did anything wrong with that particular. Match. Yeah, definitely wasn't out of it. If he got that confirm into sight into critical art, I mean, would have just about tied things up. Jump in again for Joe. You see the pressure. Oh, Dasher okay. for a throw, and Yukonon has preemptive neutral jump already. Yeah, that's a couple of times now that Yukonon has done that with the neutral jump, so that's something that L.I. Joe's going to have to be aware of and keep track of. Yeah, neutral jump to predict any kind of forward movement, whether it's sight, whether it's forward dash. It's a good option. I love Yukonon chasing his own Sonic Boom to punish the base skill, trying to absorb that meter. He's seen Joe trying to absorb that meter, so he's able to punish the base skill. You see, Joe is afraid to absorb these moves now as V-Trigger is on deck for Yukadon. Oh, what a combo, and he keeps it up with the EX. It's not going to be enough, but so close. And the low, yeah. Got the counter hit, Joe hits him on Wake Up or Tech, not the other. Probably was expected to throw on that Wake Up. Yeah. So great work to do. Joe with the offense already, and Yukadon has been such a wall to deal with. He's just intercepted Joe on a lot of these. You know, strategies that he's tried on offense. I feel like it's something that Yukadon is fully aware of right now that Joe is attacking him on. So he's had the preemptive air to airs. He's had the stand medium punch to catch the dashes, the neutral jumps to catch the dashes. But he puts himself, he gets himself into the corner now off of Joe's throw. So Joe trying to get after him. But oh, out of the air with the juggle. Great work. Roundhouse and a four like it from Yukadon. Also put a critical art, and that's going to be that Joe spending the gauge to get himself around. Although Yukadon now is going to have a big advantage in the last one. I see you have all that meter to work with. It's even a situation now where Yukonon has access to a bunch of anti-air DX sites. Yes. Be able to oh, get some damage and then still build meter to keep the meter lead against Eli Joe. It also makes jumping from Joe dangerous unless, of course, he's going to punish a boom like that. I love Joe going into that low roundhouse, not on a range to be able to get much better combo. Like Yukonon, the air Oh, the air walk air. under from Joe? Great spacing. Just understanding he made it the throw, and Joe's offense really paying off here. Yukadon out of there, he can combo again. Yes, he does, the overhead. He could have combo even to the over. Oh, I think he baited Joe into spending yeah. it. Yeah. Joe thought he was going to throw a Sonic Boom, he didn't. Nice anti-air, and he's going to get the crouching strong. Double yep. crouching strong, no confirm in the super, though. Yeah, he has critical R on deck still. Oh, no anti-air from Joe. Could he excite? Well, confirm, and, and that's going to be critical R. Yukadon now up 2-0 over Joe. Really, Joe's got to think about this. It's been tough. The offense that he's applied has been effective at times, but not consistent enough. Right. Don't forget, this is still loser's bracket. You hear the audience right now trying to cheer on Joe. This is the seventh win We'll see if you can do it. Into the third match here, you can on up 2-0 in the Nash Mirror. He's just been so too solid, really. He's just been so difficult for Joe to deal with. And now the question is, does Joe slow things down or does he just try to press it even more? Alright, uh, once again, you can on just ready with those great airs on the jump and the moonsault slash, but that time LR Joe gets it in there and gets a throw. Yeah, out of the air. He uses that roundhouse off the beach trigger again. He consistently goes for that as it's great for air to airing. Hits the air, sets him up for the throw, goes for the jump. Full counter hit, yeah. He couldn't get much else, but Joe lands it. 
One more to close it out. Yeah, throw that. Throw would kill, so great work. He's too far again. That torch pierce extends himself so far forward and then pulls him all the way back. Yeah, her box immediately disappears on that. Ally Joe closes it out. Word to him on that round. Round two. Medium kick. Joe up one round in this third game. Oh, what a whip on Joe. Man, counter hit confirmed from Yukonon immediately spends critical art. He's going to have a, a chunky lead here. Yeah. See what he decides to do. Yeah. Of course, Li Joe in the same position now also has V trigger, so he's got all sorts of ways to confirm to a super if he wants to. You see that little jab interrupt from Yukonon? Just knew that Joe was going to try to take up space on the front. No confirm. What? Yeah, he is just stuffing all the approach and dash from Li Joe now. Air to air from Joe is good. He's got the back throw to the corner, although trigger available for Yukonon. Spends it immediately. Oh, he gets the back dash. It's not a confirm a kill. Joe didn't get canceled side into critical art again, but not out of this yet. Crouching strong. Trying to pass it. Empty low. He goes for the empty low. Gets it. He's going to take this game and stay alive. He's on the board. It's 2 to 1. Joe stays alive. One empty low, and it was counter hit. So, you know, either a throw tech or some kind of button for Yukonon just wasn't in time because of that Joe on the board now. See if Yukonon can adjust. I mean, Joe's offense was still, you know, he was keeping it up there, but a bit safer this time. A lot less risk than I think he's been taking so far. Round one. What a match right now for a guy like Yukonon. If, he could, if Joe could somehow make this comeback, it would probably be a very salty way to lose to two Nash. Yeah, that's, you're a Nash player. It's a tough way to go out. But, he's, but Joe still has a much longer road to go for right now. He still needs to win two games. And it's great to see so far that Yukonon has not cracked in this game, right? Despite losing that, he still seems solid in the neutral. Although Joe has offense now. Wake up button nice. and the confirmed jab in the back medium kick. And using the meter right there. Get some good damage and keep Joe in the corner. He's gonna be able to confirm right there. And now Yukadon at match point. Yeah, clean round for himself. Great to have that kind of composure after just taking that loss in the last game. On some clutch stuff by Joe. And see a roundhouse from Joe. And man, the counter hit confirms from Yukadon are so excellently done. Jump over. Just goes into the throw. He's expecting the full combo. Yep, punish on that low roundhouse. And a jump again. Joe has the offense. Is that another throw? Yes, and the tech. Oh, and trying to anti-air and missed it. And Joe, now on the verge of stun, then he gets into the cloud spear. He's going to be able to confirm more combo, take him out, and steal a little bit of that meter. Yeah, he's going to go into the last round with meter advantage here. Joe got to win this game to stay alive and force him to a final one. You can unlock it and close things out. Close to that critical art, even though Joe's gold meter, EX fight. We'll take some of that away. Oh, yeah. Stop the yeah. yeah. And both of these players right now have been really on point on their air to airs as a defense. Oh, Joe didn't get the confirm. He did a button that was slightly too slow. And great defense from him. Yukonon was looking probably to beat that throw. Didn't have the right idea. And Joe, man, the neutral so far. Amazing. Stuffing all the approach now from Yukonon, who has to go in for this deficit. Yukonon trying to play oh, some over. Came the other side. Oh, using the V trigger kick. And Spence, Joe trying to expected him to go behind. He's going to get caught by this. A lot of damage now. Yukonon with the lead. Li Joe, of course, still sitting on full meter and a trigger. Again, that air to air defense. Oh man, he could have critical art if he had that on deck. Just raw critical art, but just wasn't ready for it. Gotta be expecting Joe to do it. He has the V trigger as well. In a dangerous spot. He gets in there. He's going to be able to confirm. Critical art at the end of it. And Li Joe, huge jump. What an excellent read. Is it going to be enough to close it out? And it is. A a final game here for Joe. What clutch stuff. In the heat of the moment here, Evil, such a tough stage to stay composed on, and he's doing it. Yeah. Oh, like Joe and Father in the same, same pose. <laughs> like Father, like Son. Apple not too far from the, the tree. Maybe we'll see his dad in top eight with Nash next year. <laughs> the Street Fighter <laughs> skills are also carried over. Now Yukadon trying to wonder himself where things are going wrong. He's got to adjust as well, thinking about how Joe has been able to make this comeback. But Joe's right still to him, ready to go. Last game here, Li Joe versus Yukadon. See if he can stay alive. Counter hit confirmed from Yukadon early. Anti-air, yes, great work from Yukadon. Would be a reversal out from Joe in the jump. Man, his offensive jumps have been so excellent throughout this entire top eight. But just missed that media attack, he's gonna get back thrown. Into the corner. Anti-air side. Yeah, great work from Joe. Yeah, Joe choosing to spin that meter. I mean, we've seen it right now. Both of these players getting a lot of uh, pay out of their meters, saving them for the critical marks. 
What a block from Yukon and a delay from Joe. He just gets thrown out of it. Maybe a button on a ride. And that should be the round. Great work from Yukon on staying composed in this final one, but we've seen that Joe can bring it back. Down to the last round. You can die. He just needs to take one more to advance forward in this loser side bracket. We'll see him there now backing up, trying to play a little more defense, and immediately turning into an offense, but I'm not sure what he was trying to bait out. And yeah, it just gets up thrown. No hands here from Joe either. On that jump forward from Yukon. He's missed a few in this last game. Over. Oh, got him there. He's going to confirm to the target side. Yeah. Out of there is Joe. Now he has repositioning for himself to jump over, but not in time for the boom to recover too quickly. Too late that time. Spent the B-gauge just to get out of the pressure. No anti air again from Joe. Without boom, he's got to get advantage there for a second. And confirm. punish against that B-skill. Like you said, he's done that before. Yeah, you get on in so much control now. Joe trying to make some kind of offense happen. Air to air again. He's got close to the critical arc, but a confirm. And he's got the critical arc. Yukadon is going to advance forward here on the loser side bracket. L.I. Joe, the last U.S. player, has been eliminated from the tournament. Like they're ready to go. Three of Destiny. It's going to be a Chun mirror. That's right. We're going to have Goichi on the left. Looks like going with the police outfit in... Chun Li. The suspense. Oh, no, no, no. Back to the regular outfit. It's the most important part. This could decide your future at Evo. All right. What, what costume you pick? All right. Now, fortunately, they pick the, you know, a blue and a blue. Yeah. So let's go with dark blue and light blue. Dark blue for Goichi, light blue for Nemo. MOV. Uh, MO, MOV, you're Good right. Good try, Sorry. James. Sorry. Paul We're in is. there, into the match. It's going to be a Chun Mir. Lots of defense. It's going to be a, really about turning it on when you can and getting that offense, making it count, confirming. And we know both these guys' master class. Uh, and, you know, and executing and performing, but can they do it in the clutch here? We'll find out. Oh, wow. Jump at the start. There's a lot of jumps at the start of the round here. Yeah, great, in the top eight. great answer already from Goichi on the air legs. He has gone for crouching strong to low profile and just get under. That's an important thing in this matchup. You can see he tried Ooh. crouching fierce that time. Yeah, try to anti air the lightning kicks up, but not gonna happen. Speaking of lightning kicks, Goichi gets in there. Confirms that time just to go into the ground lightning kicks. And there was no answer on the air legs there a couple of times he's got away with the jump and he's mixing up between jump air legs as well as his regular jump he's in there confirm with the bird you could definitely see goichi was trying to keep that pressure going in a lot of gray health built up he had the stun built up but mov able to get out of that situation and now mov has the corner position well sitting on critical art as well as the v trigger which makes that fierce button and that low strong so dangerous Saw the jump back throw. Oh, oh wait, he's gonna go to the X. Is that enough? Not quite enough. Didn't spend critical art, but gets away with it. Goichi, dangerous play, but it works out. I was really hoping that that EX legs would do it. Didn't quite get it, but you know what? He sensed a little bit of defense. He delayed his media attack. Check to see if there was an EX bird kick. Nothing. Then he went for the throw. Yeah, just in case he had another reversal. Out of the air it was probably an air leg attempt. Just missed it. MOV now with pressure. Bird on wake up. We're gonna have a couple of those bars early. EX fireball for the approach. And Ooh, the you see yeah. even the combo off that Goichi's answered. You know, a lot of people talk about how Chun Li is so strong, and, and it turns out Chun Li has the best answer to the airline kicks from Chun Li. Buddha Thumb, slow strong to get under again. No Ooh. confirm as the, I think the air like a bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah. He's gonna just go into the regular lightning kick. He's gonna save the super to try to make sure it kills. Ooh, and the end of the board, but he's gonna be able to do it here. There There's it the is. Confirm right into the critical. Our first game gonna be for Goichi here. Love the play so far. Especially, low strong as an answer is great. Confirming off a of fantastic control in the neutral. Switching up between regular jump, air legs. Done such an amazing job Charlie so far has wins. Goichi in that first game against MOV. So we'll see if there's an adjustment from himself. You saw MOV go for that crouching strong himself to get under. Uh, but, you know, it's sort of slow to, the, to pull the trigger. Uh, Goichi has been instant on it, and he's just clean, clean play so far. All right, immediately Goichi trying to show some offense here, but stop by the wall from the fireball from MOV. So MOV using that fireball a little bit more as a method of approach than Goichi gets the clutch counter. Nice. Confirming the crouch roundhouse and again confirming the EX lightning. Yeah, jumped back in the corner and got away with it. MOV didn't have that stand like against here on deck. Media attempt. Yeah, there's a big fierce. Oh, wow. Out of the Just air. For the jump was maybe expecting Goichi to go for a fireball. There it is. 
Just using it as a wall, trying to V skill over it just a little too late. Oh, the slide under should get the confirm low jab. Yeah, love it. MOV puts himself great positioning, closes out the See what Goichi's gonna do about it. Round two. I think so far he's thrown more fireballs and, and been a bit more preemptive. Yeah, using the X to get in there. A lot of times that fireball is not, you know, you don't use it the same way, like, for example, Ryu, where you're trying to use it and react. You kind of use it as a wall and as a means to approach. Right, you throw a wall behind it to get out of there. EX Bird as the answer from MOV. Only one hit, though, so not a huge amount of damage on that anti. Wow, barely clipped, so not going to get whiff punished. With that air lighting as well, a neutral jump. Not sure what the towards medium punch was from MOV. Oh, man. Confirmed, didn't spend critical art. The regular jump in from Goichi. Again, lots of great damage, just got a, a, a huge chunk of it. No anti-airs from MOV. Lucky on the back row. He tries to catch him by surprise. He said, oh, wasn't expecting the dash under. That's such a common move after the slow light kick, but it felt like Goichi delayed that dash until the very last second. Yeah, right at the end, just to sneak under to the other side. Great work from him. Might have been a situation that MOB was thinking that he wasn't going to dash under the corner himself, so he wanted to stay in the front. But Neutral sure. jump, and there's that strong again, as you mentioned. Not sure what MOB is looking for. Goichi, so dangerous right now. Both of them on full meter, although Goichi's had tons of offense. Spends it on the EX. Oh, Close in the back throw. Throw. Yeah, back throw, and now MOB in an advantage, advantage position. Last corner, no anti here from Goichi. Stood up in time, but just didn't believe in the light kick, maybe. Under. There it is again. I dropped the oh, confirm, no. and it should that be was, enough to close it out with critical art. That yeah. was such a late spinning bird kick. I almost want to say that happened because of negative edge. No, what he did there was he went for low jab, low medium kick, right. and uh -huh. missed the low medium kick, and it just came out. He just yeah. got raw spinning bird. Still so much later than I was expecting to see it, but... Yeah, because, you know, when you do low medium kick spinning bird, uh, medium kick bird, you have to do it a little later. Right, So right. he was trying to late cancel, didn't get it on time. Tough drop there for MOV to go on 2-0 against Goichi. Yep, and Goichi now up round one at match game. Right. MOV trying to figure out something. Again, I, I, it doesn't feel like that nope. MOV has been really playing anything particularly wrong. It just feels like that the two are really going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other, but Goichi just coming out on top. Barely. Consistently in the right position, gets under with the side but trade on fireball. And if that happens, sometimes Chuck can confirm dash up and get stuff like legs. Oh, oh, an air wake up air throw. Actually, that was the throw tech. That was the throw tech, and it came out. It that was way. throw tech OS, but it makes him look like a genius, so he'll take it. <laughs> MOB, great work on that round. Yep. Goichi, Bro, though, we see consistently has been able to bring it back. He's just had the the cleaner play in positioning. Great answers to air lightning. I think maybe MOV has to think about maybe switching it up. Empty low instead of the stomp. Alright, he's in there. Yeah, he's too far for the full combo, so just goes through a low jab into the bird kick. Oh, no punish. Yeah, no punish. EX legs would have been a punish, but I didn't want to go forward. Now MOV senses a little bit over defense from Goichi. He was able to get in for the throw. But Goichi getting out with that Chun Li. Active low medium punch into V trigger cancel. Walk on wake up from Luigi. Oh, oh, gets in there with the bird. It's not enough, but one more. Oh, the lows. Yeah, and you know what? Luigi said, you, You're not going to do instant head stop. I'm just going to block low all day. Oh, what a block! at that time and he tried to punish. Oh, my miss from. Oh, man, this could be a big chance. Oh, man. Yeah, you see him block again, expecting yeah. just in case there was bird. Yeah, but there was that jump out. Oh, oh and, and it jump. got stuffed just like that. The sound like it. Lost so, in the match. So crazy that Stan Liking is such a reliable anti-air, but we have seen it miss so often here in this top eight. So MOV now getting on the board versus Goichi. Yeah, just the angle on that roundhouse can be tough to deal with for a lot of characters, and you saw it there. Just got in at the right angle, worked for him, and that's the round. And even if it had been anti-air, you know, he wouldn't have died or anything. It's not a ton of damage. Uh, it would have been positioning. Right. But still. Great game for MOV. Kind of a little staggered approach with those crouching lights. He's been too far for that combo to connect. Great so punish. he's going to get punished. Yeah. And here, no, he didn't trust it. Maybe he just didn't pull the trigger. And now, Goichi. Okay. <laughs> Both of them doing the exact same moves two times in a row. And a rare throw attack from Goichi, not to handle air legs too well. We saw MOV go down too earlier and make the comeback. You gotta wonder if that's gonna be a factor again. There's the confirm close to stun. Oh, the but wake still up. wake up buttons. No fear from Goichi. Gonna, yeah, cancel the V trigger. Right on the jab. Oh, and that was so 
strong no. from MOV. He just did not went. stand up, or he didn't stand up to block the overhead. Instead said, I'm going to interrupt this with my own button. Why block it when I can punish it? And then the MOV just thrown out the EX lightning kicks, catches Goichi by surprise to take that round. And yeah, he's one round away now from tying it up two to two. Well, both of them going up their hair legs and an EX bird kick. They have both going to that so rarely. Right. And yet both players trying to be very aware of it, very cognizant of that move. Yeah, always respecting it and, and considering it as an option, but you know, it doesn't come out too often. Now, critical gauge on deck for Goichi. And Sierra's good. In the and front. The, yeah, the forward dash. He thought it was going to make it behind there, but stayed in the front. So, MOV now going air to air, and the air lightning case, like I said, just catches you and juggles out of the air like that. Gotta be careful to trigger on deck for both players. Under the fireball has critical R and oh, spends just goes it. raw into the super. Is this going to be enough to kill? It is not, but does he quick rise afterwards? Yes. It does. Into the fireball, safe setup. Yeah. Not too much pressure. And now MOV with the full critical R bar. Oh, the answer here was so Ooh. early he recovered those. So fortunate for him. Speaking of recovering in time. Oh, oh no. Just got caught by the rapid short on the way down. Goichi now, match point over MOV. I wonder if it was one of those situations where Goichi thought he was going to go for instant air, uh, instant head stomp for the quick overhead. Who knows? In that situation, would you stay clutch? Walk up throw. And we'll be saying, I know you're scared. I know you're going to play defense. I'm going to get up for the throw. The jump over this time is good. Confirmed from Goichi has the corner carry. And again, fireball setup very safe. Doesn't have to commit to the dash up pressure. And here works this time, gets under. Confirmed from Goichi. And now has all kinds of offense and damage oh, for himself. Hit. Critical art is available yeah. and spends it immediately. Had to. Not enough. Quick rise from MOV. Tons Still of meter to work with. You see the stagger pressure, which is a block, and that's a cross up stomp from Koichi. He takes it over MOV, putting him out of the tournament. Looks right. like they're set up and ready to go. It's going to be character select Chun Li, Nash. As see we how expected. these two players approach this matchup. I'm curious to see if Yukadon is going to try to continue that, you know, in and out style of play oh, with Chun Li. Yeah. And how aggressive is Goichi going to be? Uh, trying to get in on Ash. You saw in some of the plays that, you know, Chun-Li could kind of take this defensive stance, force the opponent in on in on her, but now we have a situation where Nash can probably keep up with fireballs, and if you throw fireballs with Chun, it's just going to give him V-Trigger. Right, exactly. So he, he's definitely got more firepower when it comes to zoning. We'll just see how it goes. It's going to be the match here. Goichi Chun on the left versus Yukon on Nash on the right. Round one, right? See how the pace starts. Right, let's go. And go each of you. Quick, yeah, quick offense. Immediately going in. Yeah, like I said, it's, you know, I feel like that Chun Li is actually better served trying to get in on that. And the air legs on the other side, it's so tough to deal with. Yukonon already teched it early, which is a bad sign for him. He's got to stay solid on defense if he wants to avoid getting opened up by that. Skill at max range. He's got to respect that's negative on block. Yeah, so the challenge. What an EX, so low to the ground. Didn't even get the full hits. Five on that usually, but now you get on offense. Chasing the fireball trade, gets a throw, that's two throws, and then try to set up a throw bait, but not gonna happen. Goichi just jumping back instead in the corner. No NCR there from Yukon, but great positioning for himself. Has trigger on deck, as well as a couple of bars for himself. In the front. Stayed in the front. And he yeah. tried to anti air, but it was just a bit late. It's gonna be the pressure. Other side with the jump medium kick. In the front, what a block. Oh, but got hit by that standing medium punch. Goichi was touching buttons. That was a counter hit. Tax again, there's been so many oh, of those. Oh, what a drop. Missed the air missed the, he missed the air lightning kick, and that's gonna cost him. It's only been a few times that Goichi has had that input air and just missed it, but a tough one to have in the first round against Yukon. I mean, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people have said that they believe Chun-Li is a pretty high execution character. That air lightning kick, such a powerful tool, but very, uh, very common to see people missing it. Yeah, easy to have that mistake, especially with nerves when they're kicking in. Mm -hmm. See, slowly back to the corner as Yukon. He's trying to take up that space by setting out the projectile and using oh. that moonsaw. Amazing stuff from Goichi. Again, he's gonna stand like kick, and that's the second time he's used that same mix-up. He stand like kick, walks up, and then just does the instant air lightning kick to bait out the throw. yukon has been tacking. These situations pretty consistently has to be careful. Can take advantage here, but just back dashes for space. And here, so consistent, oh, but there's one from Yukon. Finally gets that couching medium punch anti-air against the lightning kicks. Goes for a third throw, but this time Goichi with the tech. Yeah, good work there to stay solid on defense. Made the right choice. 
Chun Li still has his V trigger on deck. Gonna get in there. Oh, what a challenge from Yukon. He gets the critical art. It's gonna be big damage. But starting with the light punch, so not gonna do as much damage. Go Ichi, barely hanging on now. And two Great successful blocks. crouch blocks, yeah. Great blocks. Could have been low, could have been overhead, could have been throw, but he survives. Activates the V trigger. Gets out to the other side, now space to work with. Yukon got to block the EX Fireball. Oh, and the jab. goes for the jabs, yeah. I mean, because when suddenly gets that V-Trigger activated, you're so scared of that overhead because you can combo off of it. Great blocks from Yukon. He's not out of this yet. He gets space. What a read! Oh. He just backdash. And as soon as he gave up space, Goichi said, I have to get in. Here's my EX yeah, Fireball sweet. to approach. Yukon had the answer with the Scythe. Great work. Just really clutch in that last moment. And we saw that happen to Goichi earlier where his opponent walked backwards and he said, okay, now time for me to throw this fireball. Mm -hmm. Immediately his opponent had to jump in that time. It was the Moonsoul. It's just basically you know, showing him what they want to see. Backdashing to a range where it's like, hey, don't you think it's safe to throw a fireball? And then telling him, nope, not safe at all. Dash under again from Goichi. He's had in the front, as you mentioned, with air legs so, so many times that I think you're not just not expecting it. Confirm. And the oh, reset again. Yeah, yeah opts for that, uh, you know, that standing reset instead of always going for damage and knockdown. Confirm from Goichi is good. Three hits to the EX legs. Trying, trying to get, get out of there. Just couldn't quite make it, yeah. And Jabbing, time. just stabbing fierce. with that towards medium punch. Has that fierce just Ooh. sticking it out. And the back fierce trade, he'll take it. Goichi gets the first round. See if Yukon can make the adjustment. He's been fine so far, but it's just been, you know, that, that round was just Chun-Li. Asserting yourself in neutral. Faking the sonic boom a couple of times with that stand light kick. Trying to make it look like Charlie, uh, that Nash is doing something. Oh, even whipping thrower to try to do the same thing. But, oh, under the other ooh. side, great recognition that he could get in there. I was just about to say he walked himself all the way to the corner, which was a bad thing, but then he just made it right out of there. Now Koichi with the EX Lightning trying to push him back all the way to the other corner now. Excellent blocks from Yukon, though. Yeah. Just staying solid on this defense is not easy to do, especially as Nash has no reversal, can't get out of there easily. It's just got to block your way out. I saw Nash, it looked like he jumped that cross up there. The side? side? Wow, just against oh. the ground. It was a read on the air legs, I think. It's got to be something like that. Now in there, oh, old punish. Funny. Yeah, got it close enough. Got to be careful about the spacing. Oh, it's stopped on the end here. Missed that chun jumping roundhouse. So good and not fast enough. Big chance now. Oh, gets out of the corner. What an NC here. He needs one more. Wake up, jab, but just checks with low medium kick, and Yukonon steals the round. See if Goichi can stay composed. It's a tough way to go out. Goichi now. Trying to tie this up 1 1. So many jumps from Yukonon to read fireballs. Yeah, but again, you know, we talked about the situation versus Nemo. It's just you don't take that much damage against those standard light kicks. That's just the positioning afterwards. If she can convert it, that's where the damage comes from. Yep. But, you know, if she's throwing out a lot of those stand pierces and crouch roundhouses, one jump against one of those buttons, you get a ton of damage. And we've definitely seen Goichi not scared to throw out. Oh, got the counter hit on the knee! So he's able to confirm the combo afterwards. Yeah, just did the jab. It didn't even combo out pressure. Oh, gets out of there. In the front has the critical art on deck. And you get on a huge lead. It's also going to waste out a lot of this V-trigger for Chun Li. Even gets a setup afterwards. And he is poised to take this game. Great, but he just, just opened him up with a target over, combo. Yeah. And just didn't expect it. Maybe expected him to go away or some other yeah, kind of pressure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's just it's that situation where the overhead is the best option. So then it becomes the worst option. Exactly. And then it resets back to the best option. Yeah, as soon as your opponent begins to expect, you know, you know he won an overhead in this situation, I'll expect it. And then, oh, well, there it is. <laughs> Springs it out. Antia early. Great from Goichi. Oh, There's punishable. a punish. Pretty nice damage on that as well as corner carry. Now in there is Yukadon, who just looks so fantastic in this top eight and all tournament long. Didn't get the punish on landing frames, but still, the jump over. And he's gonna confirm to a big damage, gets the mini Sonic Boom and backs off. Looks like he was trying to bait uh, Goichi into a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, trying to feel See if there's a the little bird or something. Yeah. The X legs now for Goichi gets in there. No answer. V trigger also available for Yukon. Could have oh, it on nice. defense. The walk back in a four dash throw, but then Yukon again just going for the EX site. It's really fast, so he just wants to throw it out there. Hope, and even if it's blocked, he can cancel it in a trigger and keep himself safe. Other side doesn't confirm it anything big, but Yukon now out of there. Oh, the, got close enough to be able to punish that. Didn't really do much outside of a standing jab, and now Yukon running back, just building trying to meter. build up meter. Yeah. The jump in. Oh, just wrist it, but yeah, Goichi didn't go in after. There's the yeah. fireball with the approach. 
Got a block. When he gets under with the crouching medium kick, match point Yukon over Goichi to move into top three of Evo this year. Yeah, it was one of those situations where Goichi saw that button whiff and was like, oh, I need to punish it. Try to punish it too late, and the low medium kick is going to get under her standing fierce. Yukadon match point to get, like you said, the top three, guaranteed top three. Another side, and man, just intercepting all the approach from Goichi. Love the block on the other side, too. He just looks so solid now, defensively, as Nash. Chipping away little by little. Oh, got the counter hit, but just a little too close to be able to combo off of it. Yeah, these straight hits adding up. Although corner positioning now can get the jab medium pick confirmed, he does. Goichi in great positioning, meaty back fierce, and now has pressure for himself in the front Ooh. again and spends the critical art. Yeah. Couldn't block it, and now Yukadon, same positioning we just saw him. Again, bad situation for Goichi, doesn't have enough meter for a critical art, though very close, but spends it on an EX bird kick. But you know what? I don't know if Yukadon's gonna mind that because no critical art for the comeback. Doesn't the matter now, positioning for Goichi, no ants here, uses the B reverse, put it away, and that's it. gonna be enough. He gets the round. Goichi staying alive. Goichi able to chase down the V-reversal, or the V-trigger, I'm sorry, knew it was coming, chased it down. Able to take that round now. Sight, oh man, he's, his spacing on that and the predictions have been so good. And now that Goichi just blocks, he can dash up and take up that space. There's the throw tech. Yeah, we've he's seen blown him up. with that mix-up a bunch of times, and it's been successful, but Goichi's still down in this situation. Counter hit confirmed from Yugodon. So good, you saw it against Joe as well. Dashing up, there's the surprise scythe again, so quick. Takes up so much space. Gets oh under. nice, last second, just got right under there. Yeah, but didn't get a big confirm because no meter for EX legs, it was just light kick legs, but pressure for Goichi. V reversal available, but he gets hit, and now bad spot for Yugen on out of the air. To do the air to air, yeah. Still has critical art on deck, gotta be careful if you're Goichi, any mistake. <laughs> you see Goichi do nothing. Oh, he, what? he whipped the bird? That was supposed to throw? be maybe EX lightning kicks? I'm not sure. You might be right. That might have been the attempt. Critical Arc chip, but there's V reversal on that side. You gotta be careful of it as well. Right. Move is out anti air. And he, he's gonna try to He's chip. gonna force it the chip. Get, Nothing he yeah, can do about it. Absolute kill situation. That was so smart. Genius play from Yukadon. You can't V reversal because it's just two, two former. Street Fighter 4 EVO champions. Yeah, these guys have both been on the EVO stage, performed, and done it before. We'll see who's going to make it into the Grand Finals. Winner of this is going to have such an advantage in the last set of the tournament. It's going to be R. Mika versus Nash. Once again, you know, we've seen this a number of times here in this top eight. Nash going to play that back and forth, kind of uh, try to escape, and then all of a sudden switch from offense to defense, back and forth. And, but we saw from Mika, all she needs to do is get in one time. Now, the difference here in this matchup is that Nash has the V reversal and the V trigger, which yeah. are some options that can help get away, but the V trigger doesn't actually turn it invincible. Well, they're mediocre the as escapes. Yeah, yeah they're uh -huh. not amazing. They're just okay. Uh, so, oh, what oh a clap God, at the start to catch it. And you see, yeah, he didn't have EX to keep up or anything, so he just goes for that particular setup instead. Great work, Kudo. Uh, but, you know, his pressure of footsies are so amazing. It's going to be tough for infiltration to navigate it. Funky corner switch, but infiltration in there, anti-air early from Fudo, and his offense, and just decision making so far has been so impressive. One of the key things for Fudo in the Footsie's game is his use of Mika's crouch heavy punch. He uses it a lot, almost kind of like as a mini dash, but since it's an attack, it kind of freezes the opponent as opposed to just going for a dash. All right, there's that hitbox Ooh. moving forward. Trigger available, gets the confirmed Spenzik and EX. Yep, into Nadeshko, and even had that not killed, it would have been set up for the wingless airplane. Fudo taking round one over Infiltration. Does Infiltration start with another side? No, you saw the clap was out there just in yeah. case again. It's a, a great start from Fudo just to understand that that's going to intercept and do it. Oh, see there, Infiltration. That's going to be key for Infiltration. He's got to make sure he whiff punishes that Crouch Fierce and the Scourge. Oh, was that a punish? Definitely a punish on Forward Fierce. Great work from Fudo. He just, his character knowledge and understanding is so fantastic. Fear reversal away, but the chase down from Fudo. He has all the tech and understanding. Standing throws, so the setup after not as strong, but he still finds the anti air. Fudo with the pressure and chase down. That's Man, one of it the, is so strong so far from Fudo. That's one of the negative aspects about Nash's V reversal. Oh, wow, just using the splash chase down. It's going to do EX Beach. Dominant, dominant first game for Fudo. He had all the understanding, all the timing. He chased down the V reversals. He didn't let infiltration slip up and escape. 
And one of the things is that the V reversal is such a valuable tool against Armika, especially against that charge drop kick. Usually you see a lot of players, as soon as they block that, they don't want to deal with the mix-up. So they just V reversal. Unfortunately, Nash's is not a hit. He's escaped, so Fudo basically looking for it. And as soon as he sees it, he chased it down and was able to punish it. That genius from Fudo. Now Infiltration might not even have that option against the drop kick. The crouching throw, Fudo in there, was baiting throw tech, but didn't get it. Now Infiltration with a chance to get out of the corner. This is what he really needs to do against Fudo aboard. Avoid this pressure situation, try to find a way out. But the ground game for Fudo is incredible. So tough to navigate. You see that crouching medium kick buffer into the V-trigger. As you can see, Infiltration, despite being in the corner here, his defense is really strong. Yeah, Fudo let him take, away. Yeah, didn't take a lot of damage, even though he was trapped in the corner for that long chunk of time. Here comes Budesco. Nice jump to avoid it. But That's then, a command throw. Yeah. Now media attack for Fudo. Great pressure, keeps it up. Other side, Infiltration, no jump away, just stay solid and block. Interesting skill to punish the with punch. Stuck it out as if it was the normal. Oh, Great block from Fudo. A little too late. I think he was still in blocks at all. But there's that whiff punish on the crouch heavy punch. Like I said, that's going to be so key because that is definitely a tool that Fudo has been using a lot. And Infiltration looking for it. Punished it properly. And it's so tough to whiff punish Asnas because your walk speed is so slow, right? So getting out of the way of normals can be so tough, but Infiltration had that perfect space. Pressure again. And Fudo just corners him so quickly. He opens up so fast. Jump and the air to air from infiltration still. Yeah, we see that so much of there to give again, punishing that crouching heavy punch. Fudo trying. And now he's having a tougher time dealing with the ground game of infiltration as he's moving so fast it's tough to play the footsies against it. Oh, got in there but didn't confirm the clap into the Irish whip. Yeah. Oh, went for the in. command throw. Yeah. That's, the, I mean, that's the right chance against someone who's spending their entire time trying to whip punish your moves. They're not hitting buttons until you do. So the dash up throw, we've seen him try it three times in a row now, but it's not working. Yeah, it will, I mean, I think maybe Fudo just a bit desperate to try to get some kind of offense going. Infiltration knew it was coming. Great round and game from him. Dash wins. See, very one-sided on both matches so far was Fudo getting in there and making it happen in the first game and then the adjustment from Infiltration in the second. First win for player one. Round one. Let's see who can get the advantage now. Fight. Mostly the strength in the neutral game is going to be so important here. That's what it came down to for the first two games. Once Fudo actually got it, was able to exact his game plan. It was really tough for Infiltration to escape. Oh, gets in there. Good confirm. Went for command throw again. A lot from Fudo so far in command throw. He didn't have many in the first game that he won. Yeah, but I do like that he's going to that option because it's now going to keep infiltration, maybe hitting more buttons. He's going to be able to land a lot more frame traps that way. Yeah, we'll see if that's the case. So far, infiltration's defense tightened up much stronger in the like, second and third game. I like the range at which Fudo is just using the non-charged up drop kick. Not very punishable. Still a threat to have to deal with. That's just a little option for infiltration to think about. Interrupt, great work. Nice confirming the hits wine piece. Look at how the corner carry goes to the throw. Charge up drop kick gets out of there. No punish for infiltration. He could have got whiff punish. Yeah, that's how he won the, the previous game one round. Got on the way in, still has V trigger as well as bar. Oh, oh, that's one of them, yeah, on the VX Sonic. Oh, infiltration, yeah, immediately dashing up, has that target combo with the overhead ready. Fudo not thinking about it. So, he got in there with that crouching strong, caught Fudo by surprise, and the last thing he was thinking of was that overhead. Sometimes you just forget that target combo exists. Oh, man. He just has the perfect spacing to stick out that clap. Has pressure, didn't oh, confirm it, but yeah. here. Other side, back to the corner, gonna have stun here more than likely. There it is. He sells the promo. Other side again. again. What Close a round from Fudo. Twice in a row. Not quite enough. And there it just is. goes for the command throw. Fudo's gonna take that with a, a perfect versus infiltration. Yeah, what a round for him. That, that's the kind of round that he's looking for. Just that offense keeps it up, makes infiltration guess. We have punish from him. Spence critical R early, and Fudo was swinging with that fierce. More than likely with a buffer behind it, but infiltration now gets in there and has damage for himself. Throw again. Dashes up, gets the throw. That's the mix up. Now the escape. 
infiltration, not sticking out any buttons or anything. He doesn't want to get caught by that clap that Fudo sticks out there to snipe him. Yeah, but now you can see Infiltration playing such a oh, excellent Martin jump back. Solid defense. Is Infiltration going to come back with his own perfect? No, not quite. Oh, no, here comes Mika. So dangerous. Dropped it, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure not what confirm he was looking for, but he didn't find it. And because of that Infiltration in the that's scramble, weird. where he excels so well, and Nash players in general, I feel, are so strong in the scramble in those weird situations. And I really felt like Fudo was, you know, wasn't expecting to get hit out of the air. Got hit out of the air, was trying to do a hit confirm. Accidentally hit the punch button and out came out the flying peach. Not what he wanted. Yeah, EX peach would have been great, but... That confirm from infiltration, that's a counter hit. Okay, see, there's that standing roundhouse I was talking about. Using it out of good ranges. He's gonna be able to confirm yes. into the dash go, yep. And that's what's coming in. Oh. Oh, goes for the reset. Other side. And that should be a stun. Nah, there it is. Yeah, and he switches sides. It's going to be over under what side again in the oh, front. Oh, and gets you thinking left or right, and instead greets you with the command throw. Fudo taking that round two. Quickly and decisively. Oh, man, great confirm. confirm. Yeah. Into the corner with the EX flying beach, where Mika's used their meter most of the time. Goes for the throw, catches him crouching. Oh, baited the throw, and he walks up, lands it. This should be a stun. Stun again. And what is he going to have for the mix-up? Back to the corner. Reset, and there's the throw type from infiltration. Not out of this oh, just yet. Oh, he's going to be able to confirm into super, but he's going to save the meter. Yeah, he's going to need a few more. This, these mix-ups have got to work. Gets out of there. Oh, so close to stun. The oh, wake-up button. Bus. Gets in there, looks for the jump, Nadeshko saves the day. Yes, great, great presence of mind from Fudo to have command throw queued after the block. And it's gonna be the final game here in our winner's finals. Yeah, Nadeshko always throwing a wrench into the plan, always have to keep in mind when she's gonna strike, and yeah, completely set that up for Fudo. As soon as Infiltration blocked that, he was feeling a little bit safe, and that's what Fudo took advantage of and got him with the command throw. Jump in is no good. Infiltration with the early ends here. Just tough to do. She can switch, uh, switch it up between that splash she comes down with and her normal jump button. You see all those little defensive standing jabs that Infiltration does? Oh, but gets over the back fist. Back dash to avoid throw, and there's the anti -air. Other side again, and Fudo so strong with the mix-ups. Oh, oh yeah, there's that Fudo tech, and he's going to get the stun, building a little bit of meter with that whip command throw. Reset again, and again. Other side again. Fudo. Match point to get into Grand Finals of Evo is Razor Fudo's Armika. Infiltration, who's looked so unbeatable all year. Now in a tough spot. Oh no, that's definitely punished. Now commit in case the Infiltration was going to hit a button. There's Fear Reversal. Can dash up and get pressure? Does. It just goes for the low and Infiltration countering with those crouching jabs. And again, see those stand jab checks that he throws out there, stopping a lot of Fudo's offense. Fudo's going for a lot of forward dashes, and he just ends up dashing into those. What a neutral jump, and Fudo probably had time to get the crouching medium punch, but chose not to go for it. The risk. You see the footsies from Fudo. Stand medium punch, whip punish. Gets the cancel afterwards. Other side, spends critical art. Gonna take it to the last round, more than likely here. And once again, this seems to be a pattern here. We're going to the last game, last round, winner's finals, Infiltration versus Fudo. He's going to move on to the grand finals. A huge advantage to have that extra bracket. Now moving forward, lots of meter for Fudo. Ooh, and he got the confirmation to walk up to catch yeah. it. He's using that flying beach again in the corner again. Just goes for the regular throw. Yes. Brilliant from Fudo. Dash up gets stuffed from Infiltration. He had it ready. Air to air with a light kick and now escapes the corner. Huge Just walk up command. And he, yeah, and he uses the punch one to send him back into the corner. But Infiltration gets out of there on the sweep. Oh, whiffs. That, was, that could have been such a big punish. But Infiltration escapes. Wow, building up a, building up a little bit damage on the And build up the B gauge because of it. Yeah, Love the confirm from Fudo. EX Just out of the air, he needs one more to do it, and, and that should it. be that. He's got the He's got it, through. Fudo moves on to Grand Finals over Infiltration. And Infiltration is going to be sent to loser side bracket where he's going to have a rematch versus Yukadon. Korea and Yukadon, Japan. Right, it's going to be Nash versus Nash, as we said. And Infiltration taking it the first time, so let's see what kind of adjustments that Yukadon has made or maybe just thought about after he lost. Oh, I should have did this. Oh, you know what? I kept falling for this.
And these are the things that maybe he can add to his game right now to make sure that the same result does not happen. And it was clean play for Infiltration. It was the rare flub where he lost the one game, but it was almost a convincing 3-0. Mm -hmm. It turned out to be a 3-1, but we'll see if Yukadon can, you know, find the chink in that armor that is Infiltration's defense and movement. Here it is, our Losers Finals of EVO 2016. It's going to be a Nash Mirror. Razor Infiltration on the left, Yukadon on the right. Early offense from Yukadon. You can see the pressure. It's delayed Crouching Fears to try to frame trap. Yeah, this is already different already, because if I remember, Yukadon played a little bit defensively last time, but this time he is definitely going a little bit more aggressive. You see the forward dashes chasing Infiltration into the corner. Yeah, early offense already. No anti air on that neutral jump. Didn't want to risk it in time. In case of crouching a bunch of stuff. The EX side. Yeah, anti air with the EX side. Trying to apply the pressure. Infiltration just wants to get out of the corner. Gets the neutral jump to beat the knee. Throw tech again. EX for pressure. He had the uh, frames, but even on with the challenge. Air to air. Infiltration really caging him in the corner. Now infiltration. Oh, great reaction with the anti air once again. You can not now. With only just a little bit of life left to take it for this oh, one. Oh, the trigger is getting the jump. He's going to be able to get him. Spends the EX to try to close it, but still not enough. The V-Trigger still available. Oh, the cross side. But the oh, EX. The EX yeah. Genius. Yeah. Knew that there was going to be another fireball. Throws it out. Infiltration first round. It was a tough one. It was definitely not as convincing as the ones he's had before. Yeah, you could have threw a fireball and decided to chase after it. And that's why it was smart for Infiltration to counter with the EX so he can get that second fireball. But you could have, once again, going on the offense on the first of Dizzy. Yes, gets the crouching light kick. Just like that. Starting with a huge amount of damage. He's not going to spend meter, of course, because uh, he has such a high lead now. You're absolutely right. Such a lead at this point. No reason to spend any of that gauge. Rush. Oh, rush well, he's going to take some of the back. Yeah, takes half that bar, you see, just like that. And B gauge now available. Infiltration sitting on meter Ooh. as well. Okay, he's just a few from taking this. Oh, great blocks. And had that been sight. The oh, jump yeah, over. Yeah, 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 the save himself. The save himself. The save himself. Yeah. Soon as he saw that jump, great reactions from Yukadon to cancel the knee trigger and get out of there. And then also, great reaction. Oh, he got him. Yeah, there it is. Just buffered it as soon as he was knocked down. He thought that there was going to be a fireball, and there was. Now pressure for infiltration goes to the jump. Oh, okay, he's got all the fireball. But Yukadon has definitely been playing very defensive. They're blocking in a lot of situations, not getting a frame attack. I expect infiltration to go for the throw. It is, keeps up the offense, jump over. Gotta watch for the overhead, he does. Great punish from Yukadon. PD boom, but out of there, it's infiltration. Oh, Ooh, chase burn. is down! Yeah, great punish. Bro, oh, he's only a few from stun. It's gonna be stun. And he's gonna be able to build with that meter for the critical heart, so he's gonna be able to take this first game. So, Yukadon already closing out the first game. Last set, he only got the one. That's right. So to get the early first game in here, uh, here against Infiltration is massive. We'll see if he can make the adjustment, but man, what a first game for Yukadon. You mentioned it too, Infiltration all year long had been seemingly almost invincible in this game, and then finally, that CEO, Chukita, was able to defeat him in grand final. It was like the first sign of a weakness or that perhaps people were catching up to him. Here we see Yukadon getting a lead against Infiltration in this loser's final set. Oh, there's the trade on the boom. You see, you've been on slowing things down a bit now, actually. He had so much offense before, and, you know, feels that the pace is better this way, but now Infiltration's picking things up. Close to stun. There it is. Oh, the standing ground now. Oh, no, but accidentally does the crouching heavy punch a little too slow. But Infiltration, now, you see, is also trying to play very aggressive. That was tricky. And he blocked it, you can see. Yeah. There's the confirmed counter hit forward roundhouse. Crouching jab, right where from Infiltration pulls it out. Round two. See if he can keep this up. Early boom. Oh, four heavy bunch too. Trying to look the out of the air. Four yeah, like yeah. Uh, just to get away from the cross-up situation. Blocking that cross-up gives the opponent so much great advantage. You have to deal with the mix-up, so just avoid it as best as you can. Yeah, why even put yourself in that situation in the first place? Nice reaction with that cross-up being much, but here comes the infiltration. Confirmed off of the counter hit knee. Great work, huge damage on this again. This is the kind of round you expect from infiltration. Let's see what the rest of it looks like. The jump in again. And here trades, he gets the call. Yeah, great follow up. Not true invincible in the EX side. Only high invincible, but nice speed trigger from Yukadon. Gonna get in there. Again, both of these players are playing so Critical art there. It is. Yeah, there it is. 
Had it on deck. You see that stand medium punch. Just out oh, there. Mix up afterwards. Overhead great block and a punish. Infiltration in the EX. Out of the air. He got the counter hit. If it had been EX, it would have been. But the throw infiltration. Clutch until the end. Look how people face no pass, no stress at all. It's just like, okay, Business I got Business as usual. Exactly. Infiltration tying it up one to one. A little bit of a smile on his face. Quite stressful, but you gotta imagine playing on the stage. God, I mean, so much fun. Buffer from Yukonon. Yukadon again, like I said, I feel like the biggest change we've seen from Yukadon is that he is being very aggressive. Yeah, but the last game he slowed it down a bit, there wasn't as much aggression, and because of that, I think Infiltration took advantage. In with the Moonsault. I mean, sometimes it is a good idea to keep switching between being aggressive and then being defensive to keep the opponent guessing, but in this case, it seems like Yukadon definitely has more success from being aggressive. But right now, he's playing a little more defensive, and uh, it's costing him. Infiltration keeping up the offense. Oh, went for a setup, but it, there was a late rise, so he didn't get anything out of it. But didn't recognize it in time. And for liking Antia from Infiltration, so clinical. At that range where you just don't feel like he can hit you, so you don't touch a button on the way down, get met in the air with that towards light kick. Off the gauge for Infiltration as well, though not out of this round yet is Yukon. One big jump could do it. Only threw one fireball on the Went under and went for the throw. But a great tech from Yukonon. No meter left. Okay. Crash oh, under and getting that in. And he is going to be caught out of his delay by that knee. Great punish there from Infiltration. Infiltration takes the lead in this loser's final match. The whip punish with EX side. For an answer. Other side gets the confirm. Punish the landing frames. And out of there. Man, chase down too. What a round so far for Yukonon. Infiltration survived the stun. So far, at least. Oh, gets it through. Yeah, he knew that that wasn't a true block string. Trying to get through, wasn't able to punish. But then steals a little meter and gets in the corner. Gotta be able to get out of there. Oh, I love it. Looks like he's escaping, but then turns it right back and around into an attack. Oh, no, no, not, not punished, though. Yeah, infiltration didn't stick out anything that reached. Game well, pick is good. Ooh, Full wow. target combo. Oh, and there's the confirm, yeah. That's a target combo we almost never see. You always forget that he has it. Yeah, very rare that you see it out, but Yukadon had it. It was an excellent confirm. Jump early for infiltration, block on the other side. Two solid moves to keep himself with the pressure. It is close. Yukadon again. Now backing up a little bit, trying to find a moment to go on the offense. But, oh, nice. He has a huge gauge for himself as well. Any hit, oh, what a delay, and Infiltration steals it. It's so long. These guys both have been blocking those frame traps so well, so Infiltration has delayed that so far. They're caught him flinching. Now, he trigger on deck for Infiltration, tries to force the mix up, and Yukonon's out of there. Although, he does have it, man. Oh, man, that could be critical. You gotta watch out for it. He gets it. Oh, that's critical. Be critical. Art. And there it is, Yukonon. Gonna go up 2 1 versus Infiltration. Just like that. Favorite for Evo now down to possibly. You know what? I've said this before. Like I said, he's probably thought about this matchup. You know, man, if I had that chance to play him again, this is what I'd do. And it's paying off. He's up 2 1 versus Infiltration. Also had to play through the loser bracket, played Hellai Joe in another match. He's played it so many times. He might be warm in Infiltration, just sitting there and didn't get a chance to think about it. Had to play directly after that. Winner's it's final. A lot of the audience thinking maybe Infiltration is going to bust out a secret, secret surprise character. No. He's gonna stick with Nash the whole entire way. Yeah, he's locked in at this point. Yukon could be the one to take him out. Ooh, Here we go. Infiltration with the lead. Now lots of offense for him this game. Pressure. Ooh, Other side and gets the tragedy assault. Bit of a scramble, but Yukon gets the best. And he's gonna confirm into the B trigger, and that is gonna be enough to take that round. Infiltration trying to tie it up two versus two. It was great recognition to see that in that situation he can end with tragedy assault instead of spending any kind of meter of his own. He gets to steal some instead. Again, yeah, throwing out that stand meeting punch, always buffering it in the Sonic site just in case the opponent dashes forward into the punch. Just looking out for it constantly, it's here. Yeah, hit him out of the air unfortunately, but still able to hit him the second time, close to stun now. Trying to figure out a way to get there, but nice job from Infiltration playing defense until he found his opening and again, that air to air. Yeah, there's a counter sweep from Yukadon. 
lots of gauge and, and has a huge advantage in this round. Ooh, okay, blocking that again. Kind of a delayed frame trap. No anti air, stays in the front, block from infiltration, but he's trying to claw back into this round and he's not too far away. Ooh, wait, block wow. punish, doesn't use critical art just yet. It wouldn't have killed. Wants to make sure. Oh, you see the super delay from infiltration. Did he oh, get him? He, he did. He did. 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 That's a round one for him, just like that. So now match point Yukadon over Razor's infiltration. Favorite to win Evo in so many people's eyes. Could go down here and lose his finals. Is Yukadon coming for the upset? Oh, the evolution. Oh, wow. So now infiltration says, you know what? Anything you can do, I can do better. It's going to be a lead for him, a nice 40%. Yep, and again, they're both at no meter, so they're both going to be building it up at the same rate. Man, the buttons for infiltration, so solid on the ground. Oh, oh huge oh, chance, yeah. yes, infiltration. So close to putting this in the final game. Gets hit in the front, though. This is a big chance for Yukon. Block on the frame trap from infiltration, and now the chase now. It's going to be tough. He's got to make his way in all the way against infiltration. No hands here, either. Catches him a little bit low, but nothing after that. Oh, Beats him. It they both went for the towards medium kick. Infiltration's one up. Caught by Yukadon by surprise, and then Yukadon got caught by the crouching medium kick. And now, Infiltration tying it up 2 2 here in Losers. Finals ready to go. We're gonna go right back into it. Here it is. Last game Infiltration. Nash versus Nash. Yukadon. Let's go! We'll see if he can do it. Which Nash is going to move into Grand Finals of Evo against Fudo. Missed the confirm, was slightly too far from the second hit. And again, four liking from Infiltration. So slippery, so aware of his surroundings. Dash up, finds the hit. Getting in there again. Getting the counter hit and then the throw. Bad spot to be in. Infiltration has done that a few times already. Just dash out of the corner, punish on the boom with the V trigger. I like that he knew he had enough time to forward dash after that V trigger. We've seen him win a bunch of times between these two guys earlier. Oh, again, same setup. He knows that that's not, uh, he's, he has enough time to to jump past that second throw. Confirm again, infiltration with the pressure. Corner for himself just needs one more, but you can on Antier. And also you can on Critical Art on deck. You have to be oh, so afraid if infiltration gets hit by anything. It's going to be sad that this is going to be Antier forward light kick on again. So key on the spacing, because that had been a jump and it was that. Yeah, but that was so late. That was so late. I almost felt like he hit it too late, but the trade shows that infiltration is going to go take it. And Yukadon is just going to go and spend the meter right away. He wants to take that lead. He wants, to, he wants to put infiltration on his toes right away. Give him enough time to build up some super meter back for that third round that he's so confident to get into. Oh, no. Drop. Tough now infiltration building a lot of meter for himself, sitting on the trigger as well. Ooh, great block from Yukadon. Trying to chase down Yukadon's infiltration. Yukadon air is great, put himself in the perfect positioning to have it. Jump over and he lands it. Final round. Wizard's final is going to the last round here. Razor's infiltration versus Yukadon in the Nash Mirror to see who's gonna go to grand finals of Evo. Against Fudo. Now here's the situation. Infiltration has a lot more meter than Yukadon, but Yukadon, see, he spent that meter early. Oh, oh what a reaction from him. him. Saw it so quickly, 40% lead. Immediate from infiltration, has pressure for himself as well. And Yukadon. Gotta be careful in this situation. Back throw and infiltration with the lead. And now he's going to be able to be trigger and get the punish as well. And dashing in there, catching him with those sights and the crouch of medium kick. What an answer. He walked up so slow to get it. Pressure. And throws it. That's the lead reversal. Here comes Yukadon. Block the overhead. Infiltration is blocked those overheads. And so many clutch moments. Antier has V trigger on deck. Got to be careful if you're Yukadon. Jab checking. Oh, again, that towards my kick. Other side, blocks from Yukonon, staying clutch, and you got him. Man, that critical art on deck from Yukonon, it's terrifying. Infiltration has so few options that won't be punished by it. Wow, he goes with that, and then he throws a Sonic move. So risky in this last moment is Infiltration. The dash up, he could have confirmed, but no. Now Yukonon still back to the corner, oh, Infiltration. And he throws it through! It's not enough, but he gets that jab over Infiltration. It's gonna be a crazy set. We saw it in winners finals. It's 3-2, came down to the last round. Fudo clutched it out. Such a close set. It's gonna be similar again. It's gonna be Mika trying to get in there, trying to find a way in, and Nash trying to be that wall. That's, that's super tough to deal with approach from Mika. And we'll see if Fudo can do it again. He had lovely footsies the whole time last time. He's gonna have to try to close it out. Infiltration needs to win two, three out of five sets to be the Evo champion. But you know what? If anyone can do it, it is infiltration. He has he has overcome 
even tougher odds than that in the past, but Fudo again, super strong. He played very solid. Let's see if he can keep this going. Oh! Early command throw attempt from Fudo. That's a sign to, to tell. Yeah, he was probably hoping that that was going to be blocked. And he did the command throw a little too early. Goes for the reset and does get the command throw into the corner now. Goes for another command throw, but infiltrates it with a jump to escape. Yeah, lots of command throws. Now, does, does he continue to go for these? Punish again, man. He is ready for those ear reversals. Does he continue to go for command throws or does he stick to ground mix ups? Is the question. Well, you know, like going for those command throws early on, I just feel like that, that kind of sets up the precedent, you know? Now Infiltration is going to be jumping a lot. He's going to be hitting buttons a lot more. He's going to give Udo a lot more opportunities. Medium like that. that was so good. 84 medium punch combo into the jab. Confirms it to the EX Beach. Amazing stuff from Udo. Let's see, this neutral so far just gets in early. He goes with a regular throw, but infiltration walk back far enough to get away. And that would punish attempt from Fudo. So dangerous. Any range that clap. Critical art confirmed. Wow, you know what? In the last match, we saw infiltration saving meter so many times for to make sure it killed but here. Just spending it right away. Trying to force this third round so that he has a chance to build more meter anyway. The dash in and out throw. And what a round from infiltration. Gets the perfect. That has to make infiltration feel good. Getting that kind of momentum, showing that he has a lot of reads on what Fudo wants to do. Fudo on the approach. So many tools you have to be worried about. Okay, Ooh. finds the hit. In there with the drop kick. Early pressure confirmed. Yeah, that's what I mean. That standing light touch can lead to what the What side? Throw. In the front. It's going to be stun. Jump. He's got the combo. Now, what's the setup afterwards that infiltration is going to have to deal with Fudo? The media again yeah, doesn't believe didn't confirm it. it that time. Yeah, believing it in the trade on the jump, he'll take it first game. Fudo. Fudo now up 1 0. He's two games away from taking Street Fighter V here at Evolution. Infiltration has to make some sort of adjustment right now. Round one. Gotta figure it out. And it, it's been tough because normally you think of this matchup, the neutral is so one-sided, one it's so Nash dominant, but that has not been the case. Infiltration just having trouble dealing with Fudo's butt, it's just spacing, although now the offense is in there. Yeah, nice anti-air dash under there specifically just to counter for that crouching damage as Fudo trapped the quarter, but nice use of the V-reversal to kind of get himself out of the situation, but then... Command throw, try to put Infiltration back to the corner more than likely. Yeah. Oh, the chase down. Three dashes. What the perfect again. And, and you know, that's the second perfect infiltration Scott, right? But Fudo the game. Last yeah, exactly. Time because he just makes the right decisions and gets in there once, and that's all it takes. That, that noise, that clap, so <laughs> terrifying for infiltration confirmed from Fudo. Players can hear that in their nightmares. Oh, there it is, that crouching strong goes into the air so it avoids throw attempts. And that was the setup that Fudo has. Oh, and crush the crash counter. So he's going to be able to confirm it in the Irish whip in the corner. Pressure. Fudo so dangerous here. Close to stun his infiltration. Splash oh, in the front. What, what a guy. play. And that's going to do it for this round. Fudo now tying the second game up. One round apiece. As you said, infiltration getting the perfects. But if Fudo keeps getting the games, then it's, just, it's, it's all meaningless. It doesn't matter. It's, you'll take those rounds if you get the better ones. Two times. Almost got through with the drop kick, not quite on time. Infiltration and Sierra locked and loaded. Another jump. Yeah, Fudo really trying to force the issue. Gonna be critical early. Huge lead already for infiltration in this round. Just has a little bit of life to take, but Mika has a lot of meter left. Oh, no! Counter it to her. Steal some of that gauge as well. Infiltration. An amazing round. Another perfect. Three of them. Perfects now from Infiltration versus Fudo. So he's going to take game two with two perfects. One apiece now. And what a way to, to weather the storm, right? Especially surviving in that near trigger game Fudo so strong. And, and really just closing it out. Great work for Infiltration. That clap. Oh, interrupt on the drop kick. Infiltration more than ready for it. Clips him with that Sonic side, pushing Fudo into the corner. Chase down. Fudo really wants to get in there and make it happen. Goes for the throw that time. Yeah, regular throw. Late rise or no trick? Tracian. Oh no confirm that. Crouching light kick in the stand light punch. Flying Peach. Surprised to see it. Got him again. Delayed on that frame trap. And he's going to get under there again. And take Fudo challenges. But unfortunately for him, it's a trade. So Infiltration is going to take that round. 
such excellent work with infiltration. So clinical in the way he pulls it out. Punish. Yeah, you can't get away with that. Not at that spacing against Kudo. Kudo chase down a little bit, and then off of that couch. Fierce, like I said, before infiltration, one of the keys that I felt like he needed to win was the win punish that couch and you can the punch. So tough to do. Ants here, he was more than ready. Kudo's jumped over those fireballs so consistently now that it's to be expected. Nice. Dash. Throw from the win punish. A little too late on that one. Here we go. He gets in there. Line. Went for the command throw. Not going to get it. The trigger still available for Kudo. It's so dangerous as the national mix ups. Countering with that couch immediately. Just keeping him out. Being a wall with these buttons. And now with a jumping light kick. Yeah, in the air to air. Kudo has to find some kind of way in. This defense right now. But the Whip, yeah. yeah, so strong. Just desperate drop kick from Kudo at that range. Totally unnecessary. Infiltration, ready with the whip punish. Now up 2-1 over Fudo. Really gonna need to make sure you have a read that the opponent doesn't want to move anywhere to try to go for that drop kick, but infiltration dashing around back and forth. And oddly enough, I feel like the pace of this has picked up, and that's worked out for infiltration. Which is not what you expect in this matchup, right? You expect the slower it is, the better for Nash, but he just doesn't want to play that, that style, that pace against Kudo. Yeah, and you can see infiltration now using the fact that, ooh, nice, getting over that fireball. Chase down and punish. He's just too ready for it. He's done that now. He's trigger available for Kudo as well if he lands a hit. You know it'll be coming out. Pops it. And he ch wow, oh, chased down, he really read it. Chased down, yeah. He even used the jumping like him to cross him up. Yeah, just had an understanding that would happen. Confirm on the jab jab. Forward medium hit to chase. Quick rise or back roll. Now, oh, such a push into the corner. Infiltration trying to figure out his way out. Oh, confirm from Budo. Should be able to close it out. And he does. Great work on that round. Just at the right spot at the right time, which he always is. Round two. Infiltration is pretty active, yeah, that medium kick is sticking out, but... Like I said, when the infiltration is able to just kind of establish that wall, but now he's going in and he's going to get the stun. Yeah, I really feel like he's picked up the pace so much, steals the meter. Regular throw, what a round he's had so no, far. Goes for the medium punch instead. Goes Dash a throw. Is the infiltration going to get another perfect here? Oh, not quite, not quite. Just wow, shot. one attack. Just took some chip. That's Boy, a virtual perfect. perfect. Yeah. Fight. It counts, we'll take it. Essentially more perfects now for infiltration here in this grand final set. He's looking on getting the reset here, 3-1 over Fudo if he can close out this round. Fudo just walking forward, but it's so tough to deal with the projectile, the dash in and out. It's the I, feel like, I feel like infiltration has just done such a good job becoming a wall now. Poking with those crouching medium kicks, countering with those knees and jump light kicks, stand roundhouses. And it's been a forward moving wall. It's that he's in and out and not just sitting in one spot and waiting to get picked apart from Mika. Now pressure. Kudo finally getting a little bit of play here. Oh, the drop kick. Yeah, he's gone for that so many times after the stand throw. And because of that, infiltration more than ready. Has the fun and shoot up. Definitely was smart from infiltration. If he's going to get thrown, make sure he stand up. Mika yeah, the throw will do it. There's the reset from infiltration. 3 1 forces us to a final set of Street Fighter 5 here. Look at infiltration. You can see himself nodding to himself. He's feeling confident now. Kudo has to recall what it was that he did to be able to send Infiltration to loser's bracket. Otherwise, Infiltration is going to repeat in the second set. He's really had no series of offenses that have count recently. It's been maybe a round, but can't put it together for a game. Challenge. Oh, yeah, there it is. Confirm and gets the command thrown. Back to the corner. But, you know, after that punch though, Mika doesn't really get any sort of mix-ups. Get that side switch, but very little else. And the spacing on Infiltration's dance here. He's always in the perfect place. He just hangs out there. Oh, punish with the X. There it is. Yeah, V Trigger is available for Fudo. The trade on the air there. Dance here. Oh, gets the cross up. Spends the EX for extra damage, but it's still not enough. Oh, well, here comes the dash go. Just coming in. Oh, the jab. The ch oh, such a smart oh, decision oh. from Infiltration. The rapid jab to blow up any kind of movement that he was going to do. Infiltration, no fear from Nadezhko. Gotta take it with that stab jab. Man, Fudo just, he didn't respect it. He was like, I'll get him in there somehow. The rapid jab caught him out of it. Now the oh, confirm. Nice again. A standing medium punch directly into Flying Peach. Gets the throw, but again, standing throws, so not as much. 
Oh, advantage, no mix-up situation afterwards. Oh, gets in there, down fierce for the jump away. Infiltration had it. He's had a great read on these commands though so far. Drop kick, chase down. Oh, not, not at this time. time. Yeah, not at time. Few frames too short. Now, Rudo gonna use the B reversal to try to keep the momentum going. But again, you notice that every time he's landing a normal throw, it's always infiltration standing. So now I feel like, yeah, pluto has gotta go for some gouging light kicks. Try to catch him. Standing. That's the best place to eat the throw. Got the confirm, and that's gonna be the first game infiltration. That didn't even look like it hit, right? Yeah, the perfect timing on that. It was like one pixel away from touching him in the face and right in the B trigger to the other side. Gonna be able to get that confirm and take the first game. Just two more for infiltration to close out Evo. You can see right now on Pluto's face. Round one. A little bit of like doubt creeping into that expression. It's been such a dominant, dominant series here from Infiltration. Four straight after that first win from Pluto. Punishing the drop kick with the back fist. Nice confirm from Pluto, but still has a great corner position for himself. He really has to make this count because he hasn't been able to so far. And you see, Infiltration fights his way out. Block and, and man, he's had the perfect read on when there's command throw and with, when there isn't. Because of that, Pluto really struggling. And you know, Pluto's been doing a lot of those neutral jumps, but Infiltration has almost always been ready with his couching medium button. He has to confirm. Yep. And he's gonna go for the reset. Stays in the front, but good red block from Infiltration, but like another mix up. Yes. What a, man, Pluto stayed very patient there. But the oh. back throw is gonna do it. Another round for Infiltration. Infiltration now, looking like he has all the momentum. He has four straight games since that first one of the uh, Grand Final so far. Looking to try to make this five. See that? He reacted to the jump, didn't throw the second Sonic boom. Mancier, Infiltration more than ready. Pluto hitting buttons that time, but you know, has the trade. Okay, there it is. Pluto always ready for that neutral jump. Well, it didn't get throw. much out of it, you see. Right. Yeah, he didn't get more than uh, just a bit of offense, which is what Infiltration will take. As, as, as movement heavy as Infiltration is playing right now, it's really just kind of a subterfuge. He's playing so defensively. Look at that. Back jabs and the stand jab. It's, and he's it's never a ran he's gonna whip punish. punish. And he's going to go up 2-0 against Pluto. Here is Grand Finals. He's one game away from being your champion here at Evolution. Pluto. Trying to figure out something here. You see Infiltration showing the crowd one more game. Just the last one. That's all he needs to be the Evo champion. Fudo desperately has to figure something out. It's been five wins for Infiltration straight. Infiltration leading through. Looking at Fudo like, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? He's like, look, man, I got to close this out. There's casinos here. You know, we got to have some fun in Vegas. Dash in, gets the interception. Fudo with the pressure. And this is a great start for him so far. He has to keep this kind of pressure up consistently or it's going to be a tough for him. From the front, but nice avoidance of the command throw again, just like you said. Infiltration has set such a read on Fudo's patterns for trying to go for command throws. Six cents on the winner will come out, and there's finally a command throw. He makes it happen. Extra damage because of the gray. Oh, man, this is amazing for Fudo. Irish whip. Oh, he doesn't go for the EX. The EX might have been able to finish him off. Man, and now Infiltration, you gave him another chance. Oh, Other side, what a block from Fudo, but still, Infiltration living. Maybe not for long. And there it is. Yeah, it holds it out. Would have been a heartbreaker if Infiltration brought that back. Round two. Point. Right, Fudo now. Taking a lead here, a little bit of comfort, but sitting on, the, sitting on a full meter now. Like I said, that's a lot of uh, EX flying peaches for him for corner carry. Such a dangerous position. There's one of those EX peaches you just brought up. And now has offense for himself, a whip punish. Dangerous. What is he gonna do? EX command throw. Close to the stun and the round. He goes up again, tries to dash forward. Other Another side. side. Yes. Infiltration now gonna use the EX tragedy assault. Get a little bit of that light. Gets the throw. Anti air. But again, ready Another for the throw. And infiltration. The wake up button can confirm with EX and Nadeshko. Back to the corner and then gets out of it with the peach, but still, Udo takes it. A game for him in grand finals. Breaks the streak, and now 2-1 infiltration still in the lead. That's definitely gotta put a little confidence in for Fudo now. 
Taking that one game. Round one. Back into it. Fight. We'll see if Fudo can create that kind of offense again. Find the openings he needs. He's out of range. Trying to get the clap with one, but ran into a button instead. Neutral jump. Good option from Fudo to beat the horizontal options that Infiltration uses to get in, such as side dash or heavy kick. Confirm. Confirm on the flying feature again. Going in there with some Nadesco mix ups. Nadesco. Oh, from the front that time. Yeah, keeps him safe. And the jump in. Chase down. Oh, just goes for the drop. Off the drop. That's punishable, but lovely for an infiltration. The infiltration with a whip punch on that crouching heavy punch. That Other side. Up. Gets the under and gets the throw. The reversal is good for Pluto. He gets pressure off this after the dash. And there it is, and the command throw. throw. They're finally starting to land for Pluto now. Oh, and jumped away, so very fortunate not have to deal with that mix-up because he was already jumping when Infiltration decided to activate that V-Trigger. On the side, great block from Fudo. Absolutely clutch, no confirm. Anti-air. strong, anti-air. Too far to confirm that. Oh, we got him in the EX, and that's going to be the round Fudo. Genius. When there was a dash up, he didn't tech. He just hit a button. He was totally ready for the dash. And he, man, what excellent stuff from Fudo. In the clutch there to have the button now. Dropkick. Dash in, there's the regular throw. Caught him crouching so he gets pressure. Box from infiltration. But just this caging for Fudo. Trade. Still has positioning in there with the dropkick. Chase down. Oh, what a oh, command throw. Range on that. And it's going to take him right back into the corner. So all throw escape attempts. Null and void. Oh, wow. Look at these buttons now. As we said, not a lot of damage all at once from Nash, but that was like five individual hits that just took out half of Fudo's life bar. The jump splash. Oh, tries to get in there. Whiffs on the board. Heavy punch. Too bad for Fudo. Could have been big. Drop kick. Chase down. Oh, no. not this time. Maybe another command throw attempt, but he got roundhouse instead. But V trigger and lots of meter for Fudo. Infiltration now. Going for the cross up. Look at this pressure from him. And again, those stand jab checks. Defensive. He's gonna he's gonna get the look for it. And now infiltration at tournament point. One more round for infiltration. He said we saw it in winners finals. It's 3-2 came down to the last round. Fudo clutched it out. Such a close set. It's gonna be similar again. It's gonna be Mika trying to get in there, trying to find a way in and Nash. Trying to be that wall, that, that super tough to deal with approach from Mika. And we'll see if Fudo can do it again. He had lovely footsies the whole time last time. He's going to have to try to close it out. Infiltration needs to win two, three out of five sets to be the EVO champion. But you know what? If anyone can do it, it is Infiltration. He has, he has overcome even tougher odds than that in the past. But Fudo, again, super strong. He played very solid. Let's see if he can keep this going. Oh! Early command throw attempt from Fudo. That's a sign to, to tell. Yeah, he was probably hoping that that was going to be blocked. And he did the command throw a little too early. Goes for the reset and does get the command throw into the corner now. Goes for another command throw, but infiltration with a jump to escape. Yeah, lots of command throws. Now, does he continue to go for these? He's going to punish again, man. He is ready for those ear reversals. Does he continue to go for command throws, or does he, does he stick to ground and mix-ups is the question. Well, you know, like going for those command throws early on, I just feel like that, that kind of sets up the precedent, you know? Now Infiltration is going to be jumping a lot. He's going to be hitting buttons a lot more. He's going to give Fudo a lot more opportunities. Medium like that. that was so good. Medium forward, medium punch combo into the jab. Confirms it to the EXPH. Amazing stuff from Fudo. See, this neutral so far just gets in early. Close with a regular throw, but infiltration walk back far enough to get away. And that whip punish attempt from Fudo, so dangerous. Any range that clap, critical arc confirmed. Wow, you know, in the last match we saw infiltration saving meters so many times for to make sure it killed, but here, just spending it right away. Trying to force this third round so that he has a chance to build more meter anyway. The dash in and out throw, and what a round from infiltration. Gets the perfect. That has to make Infiltration feel good. Getting that kind of momentum, showing that he has a lot of reads on what Fudo wants to do. Fudo on the approach. So many tools you have to be worried about. Okay, finds the hit. In there with the dropkick. Early pressure confirmed. Yeah, that's what I mean. That standing light touch can to the side. Control. In the front, it's going to be stunned. Jump. He's got the combo. Now, what's the setup afterwards that Infiltration is going to have to deal with Fudo? The media again doesn't he didn't believe in it. it that time. Yeah, they yeah. believe in it in the trade on the jump. He'll take it first game. Fudo. Fudo now up 1-0. He's two games away.
from taking Street Fighter V here at Evolution. Infiltration has to make some sort of adjustment right now. Round one. Gotta figure it out. And it's, it's been tough because normally you think of this matchup, the neutral is so one-sided, one so Nash dominant, but that has not been the case. Infiltration is just having trouble dealing with Kudos. Plus, it's just spacing, although now the offense is in there. Nice anti-air dash under there specifically just to counter for that crouching damage as Kudo drops the quarter, but nice use of the V reversal to kind of get himself out of the situation, but then... Command throw. Try to put Infiltration back to the corner more than likely. Yeah. Oh, the chase down. Three dashes. Oh, the perfect again. And, you know, that's the second perfect infiltration Scott, right? But Fudo the game last yeah, exactly. Time because he just makes the right decisions and gets in there once, and that's all it takes. That, that noise, that clap, so <laughs> terrifying for infiltration confirmed from Fudo. The player's going to hear that in their nightmares. Oh, there it is. That crouching strong goes into the air so it avoids throw attempts. And that was the setup that Fudo has. Oh, and crush. he gets the crash counter. So he's going to be able to convert into the Irish whip in the corner. Pressure. Fudo so dangerous here. Close to stun his infiltration. Splash oh, in the front. What a guy. Play. And that's going to do it for this round. Fudo now tying the second game up. One round apiece. As you said, infiltration getting the perfects, but if Fudo keeps getting the games, then it's, just, it's, it's all meaningless. That doesn't matter. It's, you'll take those rounds if you get the better ones. Two times. Almost got through with the drop kick, not quite on time. Infiltration and Sierra locked and loaded. Another jump. Yeah, Fudo really trying to force the issue. Gonna be critical early. Huge lead already for infiltration in this round. He just has a little bit of life to take, but Mika has a lot of meter left. Oh, no, he's he's it confirmed. Steal some of that gauge as well. Infiltration. An amazing round. Another perfect. Three of them. Perfects now from Infiltration versus Fudo. So he's going to take game two with two perfects. One apiece now. And what a way the, to weather the storm, right? Especially surviving in that near game when Fudo's so strong. And, and really just closing it out. Great work for Infiltration. That clap. Oh, interrupt on the drop kick. Infiltration more than ready for it. Clips him with that Sonic Scythe. Pushing Fudo into the corner. Chase down. Fudo really wants to get in there and make it happen. Goes for the throw that time. Yeah, regular throw. Late rise from infiltration. Oh, no confirm that crouching light kick in the stand light punch. Flying Peach. Surprised to see it. Got him again. Delayed on that frame trap. And he's going to get under there again. And take Fudo challenges. But unfortunately for him, it's a trade. So infiltration is going to take that round. Such excellent work with infiltration. So clinical on the way he poked it out. Punish. Yeah, you can't get away with that. Not at that spacing against Fudo. See Fudo chase down a little bit, and then off of that crouch. Fierce, like I said, before infiltration, one of the keys that I felt like he needed to win was the win punish that crouch and he had the punch. It's so tough to do. Nancy here, he was more than ready. Fudo's jumped over those fireballs so consistently now that it's to be expected. Nice. Dash, throw from the win punish. A little too late on that one. Here we go. He gets in there. Went for the command though, not gonna get it. The trigger still available for Fudo. It's so dangerous as the national mix-ups. Countering with that couch and meeting thing, just keeping him out, being a wall with these buttons, and now with a jumping light kick. Yeah, and the air to air, Fudo has to find some kind of way in. This defense right now, but the infiltration, yeah. yeah, so strong. Just desperate drop kick from Fudo at that range, totally unnecessary. Yeah, Infiltration yeah. ready with the whip punish. Now up 2 1 over Fudo. Really gonna need to make sure you have a read that your opponent doesn't want to move anywhere to try to go for that drop kick, but infiltration dashing around back and forth. And oddly enough, I feel like the pace of this has picked up, and that's worked out for infiltration. Which is not what you expect in this matchup, right? You expect the slower it is, the better for Nash, but he just doesn't want to play that, that style, that pace against Fudo. Yeah, and you can see infiltration now using the fact that, ooh, nice getting over that fireball. Chase down and punish. He's just yeah, too ready the for it. Time that he's done that now. He trigger available for Fudo as well. He lands it. Hey, you know it'll be coming out. Pops it. And he ch wow, Ooh, chased down. He really read it. Right. Chase down, yeah. Even used the jumping like him to cross him up. Yeah, just had an understanding that would happen. Confirm on the jab jab. Forward medium pick to chase. Quick rise or back roll. Such a push into the corner, infiltration trying to figure out his way out. Oh, confirmed from Budo. Should be able to close it out. And he does. Great work on that round. Just at the right spot at the right time, which he always is. Round two.
Regular throw, what a round he's had. Throw, no, goes for the medium punch instead. Goes Dash a throw. His infiltration gonna get another perfect here. Oh, not quite, not quite. Yeah, he just blocked shot. one attack. Just took some chip. That's It'll a virtual. Yeah. Fine. It counts, we'll take it. Essentially four perfects now for infiltration here in this grand final set. He's looking on getting the reset here. 3-1 over Fudo if he can close out this round. Zuko just walking forward, but it's so tough to deal with the projectiles, the dash in and out, it's the I movement. Like, I feel like the infiltration has just done such a good job becoming a wall now. Poking with those crouching medium kicks, countering with those knees and jump light kicks, stand roundhouses. And it's been a forward moving wall, it's that he's in and out and not just sitting in one spot and waiting to get picked apart from Mika. Now pressure. Kudo finally getting a little bit of play here. Oh, the drop kick, yeah, he's gone for that so many times after the stand throw. And because of that, infiltration more than ready. Has the punish speed up. Definitely was smart from infiltration. If he's gonna get thrown, make sure he stand up. Mika yeah, the throw will do it. There's the reset from infiltration. 3-1 forces us to a final set of Street Fighter Five here. Yeah. Look at infiltration. You can see himself nodding to himself. He's feeling confident now. Budo has to recall what it was that he did to be able to send infiltration to loser's bracket. Otherwise, infiltration. Round one. He's gonna repeat in the second set. He's really had no series of offenses that have some count recently. It's been maybe a round, but can't put it together for a game. Challenge, and yeah, there it is. Confirm and gets the command throw. Back to the corner. But, you know, after that punch though, Mika doesn't really get any sort of mix-ups. You get that side switch, but very little else. And the spacing on infiltration stands here. He's always in the perfect place. He just hangs out there. Oh, punish with the X, there it is. Yeah, V-Trigger is available for Fudo. Is the trade on the air there? And here. Oh, gets the cross-up. Spends the EX for extra damage, but it's still not enough. Oh, here comes the dash go. Just coming in. Oh, the jab! The jab. Such a smart decision from Infiltration. The rapid jab to blow up any kind of movement that he was going to do. Infiltration, no fear from the dash go. Got to take it with that stand jab. Man, Fudo just, he didn't respect it. He was like, I'll get him in there somehow. The rapid jab. Caught him out of it. Now the oh, nice again. A standing medium punch directly into Flying Peach. Gets the throw, but again, standing throws so though not as much um, advantage. No mix-up situation afterwards. Oh, he gets in there. Down Pierce the jump away. Infiltration had it. He's had a great read on these command throws so far. Drop kick, chase down. Oh, not, not this time. time. Yeah, not a time. Few frames too short. Now, Rudo gonna use the view reversal to try to keep the momentum going. But again, you notice that every time he's landing a normal throw, it's always infiltration standing. So now I feel like, yeah, Pluto's got to go for some pouching light kicks. Try to catch him standing. But that's the best place to eat the throw. Got the confirm, and that's going to be the first game infiltration. That didn't even look like it hit, right? Yeah, the perfect timing on that. It was like one pixel away from touching him in the face and right in the beat trigger to the other side going to be able to get that confirm and take the first game. Just two more for Infiltration to close out EVO. You can see right now on Fudo's face. Round one. A little bit of doubt creeping into that expression. It's been such a dominant, dominant series here from Infiltration. Four straight after that first win from Fudo. Punishing the drop kick with the back fist. Confirm Fudo, but still has a great corner position for himself. He really has to make this count because he hasn't been able to so far. And you see, Ultration fights his way out. Block it. And man, he's had the perfect read on when there's command throw and when there isn't. Because of that, Fudo really struggling. And you know, Fudo's been doing a lot of those neutral jumps, but Infiltration has almost always been ready with his crouching medium button. He has to confirm. Yep. And he's gonna go for the reset. Stays in the front, but good red clock from Infiltration, but another mix up. Yes. What a, man, Fudo stayed very patient there. But the oh. back row is gonna do it. Another round for Infiltration. Infiltration now looking like he has all the momentum. That's four straight games since that first one of the uh, grand final so far. Looking to try to make this five. See that? He reacted to the jump, didn't throw the second Sonic boom. 
Lance here. Infiltration is more than ready. Udo couldn't back that time, but you know, has the trade. Okay, there it is. Udo always ready for that neutral jump off. Well, he didn't get much out of it, you see. Yeah, he did get more than uh, just a bit of offense, which is what Infiltration will take. As, as, as movement heavy as Infiltration is playing right now, it's really just kind of a subterfuge. He's playing so defensively. Look at that. Back jabs in the stand jab. It's, and he's it's never a rain that he's gonna win punish. punish. And he's gonna go up 2-0 against Fudo here in Grand Finals. He's one game away from being your champion here in Evolution. Fudo trying to figure out something here. You see Infiltration showing the crowd one more game. Just the last one. That's all he needs to be the Evo champion. Fudo desperately has to figure something out. It's been five wins. For infiltration straight. Infiltration leaning through, oh, looking at Pluto like, are you ready? Are you ready? Taking a peek, he's like, look, man, I gotta close this out. There's casinos here, you know, we gotta have some fun in Vegas. Dash in, gets the interception. Pluto with the pressure. And this is a great start for him so far. He has to keep this kind of pressure up consistently, or it's gonna be a tough for him. From the front, but nice avoidance of the command throw again, just like you said. Infiltration has set such a read on Pluto's. We're trying to go for command throws. Six cents on the winner will come out. And there's finally a command throw. He makes it happen. Extra damage because of the gray. Oh, and this is amazing for Fudo. Oh, he doesn't go for the EX. The EX might have been able to finish him off. Man, and now Infiltration. You gave him another chance. Oh. Other side. What a block from Fudo. But still, Infiltration living. Maybe not for long. And there oh, it is. Yeah, he pulls it out. Would have been a heartbreaker if Infiltration brought that back. Now. Taking a lead here, a little bit of comfort, but sitting on, of life. sitting on a full meter now. Like I said, that's a lot of uh, EX flying peaches for him for corner carry. Just such a dangerous position. There's one of those EX peaches you just brought up. And now has offense for himself, nice. a whip punish. Dangerous. What is he going to do? EX command throw, close to the stun and the round. Goes up again, tries to dash forward. Oh, there's the side. Throw, yes. Infiltration now can use the EX, tries to solve, get a little bit of that life, gets the throw. And here, but again, ready another for throw. Here. And Infiltration, the wake up button can confirm with EX and Nadeshko. Back to the corner, and then gets out of it with the Peach, but still, Udo takes it. A game for him in Grand Finals. Breaks the streak, and now 2 1 Infiltration still in the lead. That's definitely got to put a little confidence in for Fudo now. Taking that one game, round one. Back into it. Fight. We'll see if Fudo can create that kind of offense again. Find the openings he needs. He's out of range. Try to get the clap with one, but ran into a button instead. Neutral jump. Good option for Fudo to beat the horizontal Ooh. options that Infiltration uses to get in. Such a side dash for heavy kick. Confirm. Confirm with the flying peach again. Going in there with some Nadeshko mix-ups. Nadeshko, oh, from the front that time. Yeah, keeps him safe. And the jump in. Chase down. Oh, just goes for the drop. Off the drop. That's punishable, but nothing for an infiltration. An infiltration with a whip punish on that crouching heavy punch. That's Other like, side. Gets the under and gets the throw. The reversal is good for Fudo. He gets pressure off this after the dash. And there it is, and the command throw. throw. They're finally starting to land for Fudo now. Oh, and jumped away, so very fortunate not to have to deal with that mix-up because he was already jumping when Infiltration decided to activate that V-Trigger. The side, great block from Fudo. Absolutely clutch, no confirm. Anti-air. strong, anti-air. Too far to confirm that. Oh, we got him in the EX, and that's going to be the round Fudo. Genius. When there was a dash up, he didn't tech. He just hit a button. He was totally ready for the dash. And, man, what excellent stuff from Fudo. And the clutch there to have the button now. Kick. Dash in, there's the regular throw. Caught him crouching so he gets pressure. Blocks from infiltration. But just this caging from Fudo. Trade. Still has positioning in there with the drop kick. Chase down. Oh, what a oh, command throw. The range on that. And it's going to take him right back into the corner. So all throw escape attempts. Null and void. Oh, wow. Look at these buttons now. As we said, not a lot of damage all at once from Nash, but that was like five individual hits that just took out half of Fudo's life bar. The jump splash. Oh, tries to get in there. Whiffs on the board. Heavy punch. Too bad for Fudo. Could have been big. Drop kick. Chase down. Oh, no, not this time. Maybe another command throw attempt, but he got roundhouse instead. 
V trigger and lots of meter for Fudo. Filtration now. Going for the cross up. Look at this pressure from him. And again, those stand jab checks. Defensive. He's gonna he's gonna get the look for it and now. Infiltration at tournament point. One more it. round for infiltration. Fudo's gotta take this. Oh wow, starts with the clap. That confirm into the side. What a man, amazing stuff from infiltration. Drop kick. Fudo has the offense for himself and the throw infiltration. Lead is growing. Infiltration. What a oh, block and a punish. Coming after him. Nice crouching strong. He's gonna get the EX command throw again. What's gonna be the offense for Fudo? Dash up the confirm. B trigger is available. But he's gonna push to the corner first instead. Pops it. Chase down. Oh, he, he really read it. Yeah. He did the quick the dash move instead. But he didn't get anything off that infiltration. Managed to escape. Sells the promo, but man, didn't get punished for it. Critical art on deck for infiltration, and that's gonna be a game winner. Protect. Gonna be a game winner if he gets it. Fear reversal is good. Pudo a chance here. What's he it gonna be? Nice block from infiltration. Infiltration has to get in. He's sitting on all that bar. And he gets oh, the, the throw. throw. Infiltration. infiltration is your evil champion. He's done. He's defeated Fudo coming back from the loser's bracket, taking two sets in a row. Infiltration is the first Street Fighter V champion here. Evolution 2016. Wow. Okay. Well, that says it all right there. Um, well, you know, now that Street Fighter V is here at the Mandalay Event Center and that Evo, Evo 2016 is on ESPN, there's a lot of new players that want to get into the fighting game community and Street Fighter V. What sort of advice could you give new players if they want to be like Infiltration and as strong as you someday? <laughs> 어, 예, 라스베가스 만달라이 베이 이벤트 센터에 있고 또 이, ESPN에 대해 소개가 되는데 새로운 선수를 위한 어, 그들에게 어, 인필테이션 님 같은 레벨이 되기 위한 그런 충고를 주신다면 이건 한국어로 할게요 yeah. 일단 오케이, okay, I speak Korean <웃음> 어, 일단은 어, 새로운 게임이 나오면서 많은 새로운 유저들이 많이 참가했고 이번 에보 2016에서도 새로운 선수들이 많이 나온 걸로 증명이 됐다고 생각을 합니다. 다들 온라인으로 많이 게임하실 텐데 이런 대회도 많이 참가하시고 오프라인 모험도 많이 가졌으면 좋겠어요. 게임을 하는 거 이외에도 많은 커뮤니케이션을 통해서 이제 마인드도 성장하고 게임 실력도 성장할 수 있는 기회를 가졌으면 합니다. 언제든지 나오시고 저도 항상 한국에서 많은 오프라인 모임 가지면서 여러분들 기다리겠습니다. Since the game is new. Uh, also, uh, there's a lot of new faces, new uh, players. I encourage them to uh, attend a lot of offline events. Uh, go to your friends' houses and play, put some time into the game, uh, change the mindset, uh, practice for the game, and uh, do a lot of communications with your friends and the community in order to improve on the game. And I hope everyone enjoys the game. That's the main thing. Spoken like a true champion. Uh, finally, I guess I just want to ask, what's next for Infiltration, and do you have any shout-outs that you want to that you want to give right now? Anybody you want to say to at home? 미래 Infiltration님 계획과 또 그리고 소감 말씀하실 분들 감사드릴 분들. Okay, I know it. So many my uh, so many people's waiting for my stream on Twitch TV. So. Okay, now I am an EVO champion and I have to play a lot of time to prepare for CAC Conquer 2016, but I have a time, so I'll stream again. <laughs> and that's it, I have no plan, that's it. <laughs> Awesome. Well, Infiltration, congratulations on an amazing performance. Everybody give it up for Infiltration. And now, we're going to hand it over to Evo PA announcer Ben Carrington to present the award to Infiltration. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your Evolution 2016 Street Fighter V.